All right, everybody, good evening to you. The current time is uh, 5.51 p.m. here on Wednesday, June 8th. I'm forecasting Nick Dunn alongside meteorologist Mike Joyce. We have a tornado warning that has been issued now for portions of southern Miami County, extreme northern Montgomery County, and southeastern Dark County for radar-indicated rotation until 6.15 p.m. And, Mike, there have been some questions over the last few minutes about this storm in terms of what is going on, but uh, there is a pretty strong velocity signature coming right over West Milton, just to the south of Laura right now. And you can see there, are, uh, for those of you watching at home, that green rotating circle is a clear indication that we are starting to see some rotation. There's that velocity. And, Mike, this is probably one of the better signatures we've seen so far today. Absolutely, it is. And um, I'm trying to take a look at the uh, Wilmington radar, and it does actually have a pretty decent rotation signature on the Wilmington radar. And we're also fortunate up here in Miami County that we also have very excellent radar coverage as well uh, from the Dayton Airport Terminal Doppler. And yes, I am seeing, uh, again, it's not a tight rotation, but it is tighter than some of the rotation we've seen. And it's enough to prompt a tornado warning for sure. And the area of concern would be right, right near West Milton. So, um, Unfortunately, West Milton, one of the communities impacted by Memorial Day three years ago. Um, right now, though, this, this does not seem to be the same situation. I want to preface that right now. It does not seem to be the same situation. Um, but what I do want to say is, in this type of situation, uh, even though the rotation is currently broad on uh, the Dayton Doppler radar, it's close. So that's why they prompted the tornado warning, and that's why we, our partners at the National Weather Service, your favorite uh, local meteorologist, all of us are going to want you to be in your safe spot, especially if you are in Miami County, south of Troy. So that means West Milton. That means Tip City. Um, there is that northern portion of Montgomery County that is in the warning. Right now, I don't see the potential for uh, tornado tornadoes in like Phillipsburg. I think Phillipsburg is right behind it. But again, we're under a tornado watch until 10 o'clock. So even though this particular storm doesn't concern me, Nick, um, we could be seeing that in future storms over the next couple of hours. Yeah, and one other thing to point out here, too, is I've got some roads up here on the map where you've got Markley Road, Milton Potsdam Road, Emmerich Road, County Highway 142. There's also um, Ohio Route 48 and Ohio Route 571, and those will be heading towards Kessler Frederick Road in the next little bit. Uh, folks, keep in mind that this is a mid-level rotation, according to the Weather Service in Wilmington. The lowest slice from the Eternal Doppler in Dayton, they're saying it's not being real uh, subjective yet to rotation, uh, but they are continuing to monitor things very closely, and it looks like you got another update here. Um, According to the Terminal Doppler, okay, actually, according to the Dayton International Airport, the ASOS is reporting tornado. So oh, perhaps is there it? is, okay. yes, it is. As of the latest observation now from the National Weather Service, that just came across the uh, chat there, and that's interesting. Maintenance check indicator was also triggered, so they're going to be checking that one, obviously. This is very close to the Dayton International Airport. Uh, which just sits right off of I-75 there near the Montgomery-Miami County line. So this is a pretty dangerous situation right now. If you live in Ludlow Falls, West Milton, Tip City, even as far north as Troy and Cast Town, uh, there could be a little bit of a drift to the northeast with this. So I understand the polygon uh, being drawn as far north as it is, but if you're in the polygon at this point, you need to be respecting that polygon. So that means you need to get below ground, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Uh, that also means get yourself into a more substantial shelter, lowest level, Okay, centermost part of your home. If you're in your basement, if you're or if you're about to head to your basement, take a helmet, sofa cushion, some other piece of sturdy furniture to protect to put over your head from potential flying debris. While we don't have a confirmed tornado on the ground, it is worth noting that one could develop. And so that's why you hear the words capable of producing a tornado. And so that's what we are currently faced with right now. There's also a severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible for southern Shelby County and basically the rest of Miami County at this point in time. So we need to be taking a very taking the storm very seriously, getting to our tornado safe places at this time. And Mike, there's a couple other storms now of interest, one of which is in southern Montgomery County. We're also watching Fairfield and Hawking County. And that was just another update there. Okay, now the tornado warning's been canceled for dark in Montgomery County, so now it's just Miami County. I'm not surprised by that, Mike. You kind of called that uh, northern Montgomery County. Not really seeing that uh, tornado risk as of right now per se 
Right, and I and I and I'll comment on both of those situations here. Uh, first of which, I'm looking at the uh, ODOT camera uh, at, at I-75 at US 40, so that's in Vandalia, right near the airport. And this camera is looking north, and I see a very interesting situation here. It's very windy. I can see that the wind in the trees is is blowing. It looks like from the south southeast, which is correct. And not only that, but we have sun in Vandalia. But looking north, it's very dark and obscured. So honestly, this might even be, what this tells me is, this might be a situation where we might even have a rain wrapped. If the tornado is going to happen, it might be rain wrapped. And yeah, uh, Wilmington radar showing the potential for some low level rotation uh, right along 571 in West Milton. And the Dayton radar, let's see, is, yeah, showing like if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be along 571, now moving east of West Milton. So Tip City, you need to be in your safe spot right now, uh, especially on the north side of Tip City. So between there and Troy, Troy, same for you, uh, and then anywhere in between. So uh, State Route 202, that runs to Huber Heights, uh, State Route 55 that runs between Troy and Ludlow Falls um, and County Road 40 there in Miami County. So anywhere in that area, um, we need to be in our safe spots because yeah, this camera not confirming a tornado again, but it confirms a very uh, volatile situation where we have the energy from the sun just south of it. So it's getting energy feeding into it. It is. Um, but and, let's, and, yeah, oh, go and, ahead, sorry. Yeah, Mike, I wanna jump over to Fairfield and Hawking County real quick. The Eternal Doppler from Columbus is suggesting uh, some decent spin in the atmosphere just to the south of Lancaster. There is a special yes. weather statement that is about to cross US 33. That's a pretty busy, busy traveled uh, stretch of roadway there between Logan and, and uh, Columbus per se. So if you're in this area, Lancaster, Bremen, West Rushville, I know there's not a tornado warning, but we could see one. And Mike, looking at the reflectivity, especially from the Wilmington side, okay, new tornado warning, Southern Montgomery, Southwestern Green, Northwestern Clinton, Northeastern Warren County. That just coming in. Um, so you're gonna probably hear your weather radios go off. You're hearing the noises in our background as well. But I wanna caution you, Fairfield, Hawking County, be prepared. That could be our next one. Also watching Pickaway County and also watching Fayette County. But now our newest tornado warning, which is showing some signs of rotation from the terminal Doppler in Dayton is now going to be over here into the Miami Valley. And here it is, you don't see the polygon yet on this screen per se, uh, but southeastern portions of Montgomery County, especially in between Centerville and Springboro. So, Mike, now we have yeah. two active tornado warnings. Uh, things starting to pick up just a little bit, and we, we kind of wondered if this was going to happen today, and it appears now to be starting. The Wilmington radar also showing uh, some signs of rotation here as well, maybe a little bit broader, uh, but certainly there in southeastern Montgomery County. This will be crossing towards Bellbrook, Spring Valley, and New Burlington in the next few minutes. This will also cross US-42, but this does not include the cities of Dayton, Wilmington, Lebanon, or Xenia. This is kind of in between all four of those cities and a little bit more of a rural portion of these areas, but those folks still need to be following the same tornado precautions at this point in time. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, and another thing I do want to mention about um, Montgomery County, I know Kettering is not in this tornado warning, but I know we also have going on at the Phrase Pavilion tonight is the Kettering Block Party that's going on just about to start from six to eight. So again, Kettering is not in this tornado warning, but there is another storm just off to the west that could be impacting that. So keep that in mind. If you know anyone who's going to that, please be very weather aware. Also the tornado warning, yes, while it is for Centerville, uh, anywhere near a tornado warning polygon needs to be um, taking this very seriously. So yeah. anywhere along State Route 48 there in Centerville, uh, that's where it is right now. And yeah, Bellbrook, Spring Valley, Caesars Creek Township, even the south, the very south end of Xenia should be looking. Yeah, real quick, Mike, also seeing now back-to-back -back reports within seconds of each other of tornado reported at K-Day from the ASOS station 
Uh, so okay. that that's interesting. Also, Wilmington now saying continues to see tornado potential to storm in Miami County. We do have several reports, including pictures that indicated it may have produced a tornado southwest of Laura about 20 minutes ago. So far, all is unconfirmed. There's also a not confirmed preliminary spotter report that there's a tornado on the ground northwest of Inglewood, two miles north northeast of Northview in Montgomery County. So, folks, again, right now these are our two tornado warnings, and obviously the northern one appears to have have more reports on it than the southern one, but Mike, both of these storms uh, are certainly dangerous at this point in time, and folks need to be uh, taking things very seriously right now. Yeah, absolutely, and I that that position, the the positions you mentioned do line up with what I'm seeing on radar here, um, with the Wilmington radar showing good rotation, and then the Dayton radar showing it a little tighter this time around. So. Yeah, I would be, I would absolutely positively be in your safe spot if you're in Tip City and Troy right now. Uh, the rotation I'm seeing, Nashville, which is a little crossroads there on State Route 571, um, that's going to be your spot where we need to be looking at very closely, and really the I-75 corridor. In fact, I'm looking at some of the ODOT cameras right now uh, just to kind of make sure that we are seeing what we're seeing here and there's a little bit of sun just in tip city alone so there's energy coming into this um i'm going to keep my eye on the miami montgomery county line camera um which is you know again they're just on the north side of vandalia between there and tip city and i'm also going to try to see if i can't get that uh 571 cam here as well the 571 cams down dang that is unfortunate okay let me try Okay, here's County Road 25A. So, yeah, this is a, a major intersection here in uh, Miami County. I'm actually might actually throw a recording on this one just to see if we uh, can use this recording for any potential storm confirmation later. So, again, I'm looking at County Road 25A in Tip City. That's exit 69 along 75. This is going to be... A, uh, a dangerous situation here. So, all right, I've got recording on that. So, yeah, and, and real quick, let, let's, ahead, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and hop over here now back to the Eternal Doppler in Dayton. So the two tornado warnings are on the screen here. The, the stronger rotation obviously was in Miami County. That appears to have fallen apart maybe just a touch. And then also now in southeastern Montgomery County, we're on kind of getting on the fringe of the terminal Doppler just a little bit. But nevertheless, we still have a tornado warning here, and we all need to be taking our tornado safe precautions. Real quick also, back over into Fairfield and Hawking County. This one continues to impress me just by the look of it. Um, I know that the that there's not any real tight rotation here, but certainly we need to be on guard in southeastern Fairfield County and eventually into Perry County. Uh, we need to be watching that very close as well. I am going to real quick bring on a new audience from the uh, Mid Ohio Valley Weather Update page, only because of this is uh, some of their some of their folks are in Perry County and Hawking County as well. So we'll get uh, some of their fans online here as well. We'll kind of track all three of these areas at this point in time are, are certainly of concern. So now that we have more audience members in, again, everybody, good evening. If you're just now tuning in, okay, now observe tornado. Now Miami County, they've just changed that now to observed, Micah, according to the Weather okay. Service. So this now okay. is telling us that uh, damaging tornado, radar confirmed tornado, radar shows tornado debris in the air and spotters have also reported a tornado northeast of West Milton. So now our focus will turn into Miami County, but real quick, for those of you in the middle Ohio Valley, we are watching Fairfield and Hocking County as well uh, for the potential of a tornado developing there. So let's flip back over now to uh, radar one, and this is going to be our purple flashing box here now in Miami County. We now have a confirmed tornado. Uh, and there's your correlation coefficient and yeah there does appear to be something there just to the east of West Milton and the spot that we are really starting to pick up on right now is going to be me to bring out the telestrate tool this spot right here along 571 just to the west of I-75 if you're on I-75 right now listening to us and you happen to be south of Troy or north of Dayton just come to a stop find a more substantial shelter and get off the road if you can possibly do so. Again, this is a confirmed tornado on the ground there. I'm, I believe I also just got a picture of it. I'll try to get that pulled up in just a couple of minutes for you if I can. Uh, but Troy, Tip City, Christiansburg, let's be in our safe places right now. Uh, this is a dangerous situation. And Mike, now reflectivity uh, indicating a pretty good hook on the south side and maybe a little bit of a donut hole there uh, to the north of 571 that's maybe a little bit misplaced. But 
sometimes that can be an indication uh, that we do have something uh, brewing or something on the ground at this point in time. Yeah, absolutely, and and that's one that's one of the limitations of radar is the fact that you know even though it, it's excellent these days, we have uh, good ground level coverage. It's better than it ever has been in the history of meteorology, but. Um, just because of the physics of physics, the atmosphere and the way the curvature of the Earth works, sometimes when we show you the red and green couplet on air, it's it may be displaced by about a quarter of a mile to a half a mile from time to time. Um, that said, that's why we kind of give broad regions, that's why we name streets where it's possible to be at because we want to make sure that as many people are in their safe spot as possible. And again, I'm, I'm really watching this County Road 25A camera. Uh, some, it, there's an interesting cloud formation on it right now. Um, it looks like it's just out of frame, but there is a lowering in the cloud. And this, uh, wow, okay. Uh, I can't confirm anything. I'm gonna wait for the next frame to appear, but I'm rolling on it and uh, we're gonna, we're going to watch that. I mean, again, County yeah. 25A would be one of the spots hey, where yeah, it would be. Mike, I'm also working on a video right now coming out of Red River and Grub Rex Road in Dark County. Um, okay. We are. I've got video. I'm waiting on confirmation that we can use it, but there was a tornado on the ground in southeastern Dark County just before they issued this tornado warning. Um, and I want to give a shout out to Brant Warner, forecaster, who called that out. There was certainly something on velocity there. Uh, was not being picked up very well by the terminal, but the Wilmington radar certainly was picking that up. So again, southern Miami County right now, not in Montgomery County. Just for, just for a heads up, they did drop Montgomery County out. But now crossing I-75 just to the north of 571, there is a strong signature of rotation at this point in time. And uh, we need to be watching this very closely. We need to be in our safe places at this point in time. Uh, and again, we're watching things very closely. Also, Tyler Phillips telling me we need to watch out for uh, Southern Fayette County. We are, we're we're going to have to watch that one as well. Wilmington Radar also mentioning that they did pick up some debris in Miami County on the radar just a bit ago. And I think that signature is still there right now on I-75, just to the north of 571. That signature that being noted there by that brightish green with a little bit of blue color in the middle there on the radar. Uh, that would be an, a telltale sign to me. So let's get you some street names and let you know where this is at right now. We're talking about Kessler Crowsville Road crossing I-75 there. Also Tip Cowsville Road, maybe as far south as Park Avenue Extended. And uh, maybe also going to be crossing here along uh, South County Road 25A at I-75. So yep. if you're in that immediate area, also just off to the east, you see that's going to be County Road, sorry, State Road 202. That's right there for you. I'll go ahead and highlight that for you. That's where we have the most likely place right now for the tornado to be heading towards. So be in a safe place right now. Let's drop down to the south. We still have a tornado warning for southeastern Montgomery County, southwestern Green County, northern Warren County, northwestern Clinton County. This one appears to have weakened just a little bit, but I still want you to be in your safe place. Uh, and I did get permission to use this video from Dark County, so I'll work on getting that sent over. Um, maybe Mike or somebody, one of our other team members, can work on posting that to our pages. Just for clarification, also real quick, Southern Fayette County, Pickaway County, and Fairfield County. There are three individual storms here, all of which have a supercell characteristic to them, and I am growing concerned. Okay, new tornado warning now for Champaign, Clark, and Miami County until okay. 645. So you're going to see that pop up on the screen. Uh, this is going to be a continuation of an observed tornado. They are maintaining observed tornado now for East Central Miami County, Southwestern Champaign County, Northwestern Clark County. I do real quick want to finish saying, again, Southeastern Fairfield County, North Central Hawking County, Western Perry County. There's a supercell exiting Lancaster um, at this point in time that we need to be made aware of and just be prepared that that could prompt a new warning for those of you moving into the middle Ohio Valley. We're watching that. Also around Asheville, northeastern Pickaway County, a pretty dangerous looking supercell there as well. No lightning with it. Unfortunately, we don't have, actually there is a little bit of lightning with that. Excuse me. Just a little bit there and that may have actually been a new tornado warning. Nope, that is another report from the Azos station in Dayton of a tornado being reported. Uh, so that's interesting. Then maybe that is actually legit at this point. This is that's multiple reports yeah. now. But also Southern Fayette County watching a super cellular type storm there as well. So we're kind of watching five separate storms right now. So we're going to have to bounce around from time to time. But obviously number one is we have an observed tornado on the ground. Wow, look at that on the Wilmington radar. That is a very well defined 
super cellular type structure, Mike, and uh, this is what we feared today that we might see. And now we still have a tornado on the ground that has passed I-75 in between uh, Troy and Tip City. That's going to head towards Christiansburg, north of New Carlisle, and heading more than likely towards uh, the Northampton area within the next 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm keeping an eye on uh, the County Road 25A. The camera hasn't updated in a while, so I'm concerned that maybe it got knocked offline. I am trying to keep an eye on other cameras, uh, the one at State Route 41. Um, unfortunately, it's not pointing in the right direction, so we're not going to get much from that one. But anyway, yes, let's heading back to Dayton radar here. I do see where that tornado probably is. It's probably already crossed 25A at this point. Uh, th this frame shows it at Peters Road, which is County Road um, uh, 149. And that's about a frame old. So I would not be surprised if that has already moved uh, north of downtown Tip City now. So that would be along State Route 202 that I would be more concerned about at this point uh, in uh, just the outside of Tip City. So if it's, if it's observed, and yes, there it is, we've got that new polygon, uh, that's where it's going to be. Um, I'm still waiting to see if this video will update on my end. I, I, I would not be surprised if this camera got knocked offline, and that's where it crossed 75, unfortunately. Yeah, and Mike, um, I, Mike, I think this is still on the ground. Another report from the ASA station of a tornado from Dayton. I think as many times as that has happened, I think this is a sign to us. Uh, that this thing is still on the ground. So what you're looking at right now, let's get you back into Miami County. In between Troy and Tip City, this will be heading east into northwestern Clark County very soon in southwestern Champaign County, being a safe place. It's going to be below ground. Put as many walls between you and the outside. Put a helmet over your head. And get to the basement immediately if you're in any of these locations. I can't stress that enough. You've got to be in a safe place, and you got to put yourself away from windows, centermost part of your home. If you happen to be in a mobile home, uh, okay, latest scan from the terminal Doppler in Dayton shows, oh my goodness, that is a destructive tornado now near Grayson, just to the south of Grayson, crossing 202. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's look at that. That is a dangerous tornado. So gate-to-gate -gate shear right now from what I'm seeing is 110 miles per hour. Mike, we're not looking that far off the ground here. This is right no. by the terminal Doppler. Uh, this is a significant tornado now on the ground. Um, it's right on. It's right on. Yeah. So if you're 201 underground now, 441 uh, underground now. Um, yeah. A, a, anywhere that. Yeah. Champaign County. You really need to be taking this seriously. This is a big deal. Um, and this is like Nick said. This is right on top of the Dayton radar. So we can say with confidence that this is on the ground and causing some serious, serious, a uh, serious situation. Absolutely. Uh, right along State Route 202 and then 201. I'm going to tweet about it right now. Yeah, absolutely. So again, folks, right now, if you're just now tuning in, I'm forecasting Nick Dunn alongside meteorologist Mike Joyce. There is a dangerous tornado on the ground right now in southeastern Miami County near the community of Grayson heading towards Alcone and Havenview. This is crossing Route 202 in between Grayson and Tip City. This is going to be heading towards Ohio Route 201 and Ohio Route 41 in the next few minutes. We need to be in our safe places right away in these locations. You can see the very tight rotation on your screen. This is likely a larger type tornado, as you can see here. And I would be willing to bet that the Wilmington radar is also showing this exact same signature. It's not as pronounced. So let's stick with the terminal Doppler in Dayton here. That area in blue, that's going to be where your tornado is on the ground right now, just to the south of Grayson. Let's get you zoomed in right down to street level. We'll get you some exact street names for you. So we're talking State Road 202. We're also talking up here to the north, and I can't get all those names to populate, so I'll have to do it on the other side here. Uh, but again, that's just crossing 202. Um, that's going to be south of Grayson. So if you live in that area, be in a safe place. Um, wrong tool. Let me get this back on here and correct. Um, yeah, this is a really dangerous storm. This is not one to play around with. East Walnut Grove, down here to County Highway 169, down to Tip Elizabeth Road. Uh, we're also tracking that tornado near South Hudford Road and maybe as far south as Tip Elizabeth Road again. And uh, just for, again, out of an abundance of caution, County Highway 168. Weather Service continued to update this. Several photos and a video on social media of accounts of a tornado near Phillipsburg, Ohio. That was back likely. Um, is that to the southeast? No, okay, Phillipsburg, that's on yeah, the northwest. Where's yeah, that one North, at, Mike? Northwest Montgomery, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so th that doesn't surprise me there whatsoever. Uh, we're waiting for the latest scan now from the terminal Doppler out of uh, Dayton. That should be coming in any minute now, but this is likely now pushed a little further to the east in between Grayson and Ohio Route 201. There's the latest scan now, a little weaker. That's that's one sigh of relief there, but yep. certainly it's still on the ground and still observed. So Havenview, Alcone, Dodo, Northampton, Thackeray, uh, Terre Haute, Tremont City, Lawrenceville being a safe place right now. Let's drop down to the south real quick. Still a tornado warning for areas south of Xenia in Greene County, and that was another update there. ASOS reporting tornado once again from Dayton, but again, we're still watching some rotation here south of Xenia. Maybe not quite as pronounced as it was, but there's still a valid tornado warning there. Let's jump over to Fairfield and, and Perry and Hawking County. Weak rotation still existing near Bremen, so New Lexington, Junction City, Somerset being a safe place. Also coming out of Pickaway County, some broad rotation looking south and east from the Rickenbacker International Airport near Walnut, Royalton. That'll head towards Carroll. No tornado warning as of yet, but I want you to be on guard because that cell continues to exhibit at least some signs of rotation just being a safe place. There's a the better look at the reflectivity. Cell number one over here, eastern Fairfield County. Cell number two, Pickaway, moving into far southeastern Franklin and most of Fairfield County. Cell number three, southeastern Fayette County. Cell number four, Greene County. And obviously cell number five with the confirmed tornado in Miami County. So those are the five areas of rotation that we're watching. I will also add in there's an additional cell down here into Lawrence and Gallia County with very large hail to golf ball size. Winds up to 70 miles per hour in northeastern Lawrence County, southwestern Scioto County, sorry, southwestern Gallia County, south and west of Gallup Police. That is a dangerous storm. Move indoors immediately, Gallup Police and Gallup Police Ferry. As soon as we get a new warning on that, which is looking very likely, we'll come back and get you an update on that. But now let's go back to our confirmed tornado. Uh, again, now looking from the terminal Doppler date, look how wrapped up this is just on the reflectivity side. This is wrapped up very tight. Very likely this tornado is still on the ground. Need to be in a safe place, Mike, and that's now heading towards 201, um, yep. towards Havenview, so th that's not far away from there, and I, I don't see any reason for this to let up anytime soon. This storm is certainly by itself and is a lot more isolated uh, than, than what we've seen. Yeah, and that, that that is the concern, and not only that, like in a lot of the earlier views, I, we're seeing some sun on the south side of this, so there's energy still flowing into the storm, so that's why we are absolutely concerned in fact, I'm looking at a camera at 70 and 75 right now, and the sun's peeking out there, and it's it's wet all over. Uh, so we have that very volatile thermodynamic environment for this. Um, and yeah, stay Route 201, and then Route 235. So Route 235 is going to be in Clark County. So uh, New Carlisle, you are in the tornado warning, so I would be in your safe spot in New Carlisle, Northampton. Uh, we also have uh, Tremont City, which is a junction there north of Springfield along uh, US 68. Um, Urbana, not technically in the warning, but I would be absolutely be prepared and ready to go if you are in Urbana, because if this holds together, um, that could be a spot where it might end up. So again, right now, the latest scan uh, coming out of the Dayton Airport, right along uh, State Route 201 at the moment, 235 in Clark County, you're next. Um, Christiansburg, uh, you should be in your safe spot as well. Um, and this is a very dangerous situation. I'm not getting a lot of updates from the ODOT cameras. I do believe there, uh, there may be some interruptions there as the tornado uh, did cross I-75, or at least it most likely did. Um, and I'm going to take a look at the radar loop here just to kind of look at it. Yeah, and yeah. it looks like it would have crossed 75 right at 25A there. And then now moving probably at about, let's take a look here. I'm just going to do a little calculation. Moving at yeah, about 30, 35 miles an hour. So even though my scan right now is about four minutes old, I would not be surprised if it's almost already into Champaign County or Clark County, like right along where the three counties come together. Hey, Mike, um, real quick, an update that. here. The reason why your scan is old is Eternal Doppler is now out of service as of 614. So we're going to have to probably switch over to the Wilmington radar for now. Real quick, down to the mid-Ohio Valley, a supercell thunderstorm with a severe thunderstorm warning tagged considerable for golf ball size hail. Winds to 70 miles per hour. This is going to be in effect for northeastern Lawrence County, southern half of Gallia County, and now into Mason County, West Virginia, until 7 o'clock tonight. Look at that purple. That is very dangerous. 
that would be the potential for some brief accumulating hail as wide as that hail core is as that works off towards the east. So be prepared in Gallup Police, especially just to the south of town, Gallup Police Ferry, and then into Arley, down to Apple Grove and Ashton, and over towards Leon. So we're going to have to bounce back and forth here for a little bit uh, between both of these tornado warnings and the severe thunderstorm warnings that we have. Again, if you're just now tuning us, uh, tuning into us, the Eternal Doppler in Dayton has went out of service now as of about six minutes ago. So the most recent look that we have of this, in my opinion now, Mike, I think this is cross 201 and is now moving into northwestern Clark County around Northampton, as you were saying, towards Lawrenceville. We've got just a few minutes. We need to be in our safe places. I will say this does not include the city of Springfield. This mm -hmm. does not include the city of Urbana yet. Uh, but if we were to track this down the line, I think this tornado has every reason to continue. We track where the most likely lo lo location of that rotation is and take it off to the east at about 25 to 30 miles an hour. We're talking Northridge at 648. We're talking Mechanicsburg at 712, Dublin at about 8 o'clock, Upper Arlington a little bit after that. And again, that's if this tornado were to continue on its current pace, and I think it has every reason to. Down into Greene County real quick, an update, still a tornado warning for somewhat of a, still a tight-looking supercell with a little bit of rotation on just to the south of Xenia. Does not include Xenia proper. This is going to be south of 35, heading towards Shawnee Hills and Jamestown in the next few minutes, and maybe eventually Jeffersonville and Fayette County if this storm were to hold, excuse me, hold together. Um... Also, now, I think we're going to see a new warning here shortly for northwestern Ross County. Very large hail being indicated on radar right now in between New Holland and Frankfurt along US-35. Supercell but could potentially be in developing phases there. Some broad rotation, not very organized at this point in time. Uh, but if you live in northwestern Ross County, southwestern Pickaway County, from New Holland and Frankfurt over to Clarksburg and Kingston, I'd be getting indoors and waiting for this storm to pass you. Uh, real quick, also up into Fairfield, Perry County, still watching a storm with broad rotation, entering Perry County, exiting Fairfield County at this point in time. Um, and that would likely be another update there from the Weather Service. Let's see what they have. An observer at the airport uh, saw the tornado, which began at 2147 Z. So that's 547, five miles northeast of the airport moving east. That's why we were seeing um, the Azos station reporting tornado at this point in time. So that's because the observer at the airport at that station saw the tornado at 547 p.m. So that's a current look at everything that we have at this point in time. Obviously, we're very busy. Not to be forgotten about, we still have a severe thunderstorm warning tag destructive for Galleon, Lawrence County, and also Mason County, West Virginia. Large hail up to golf ball size potentially uh, developing there at this point in time. Um, okay, so that's kind of where we're at this point in time. And Mike, thankfully to this point, um, I did also see a comment that there have been some reports of damage to the Meyer Distribution Center uh, near Tip City. I, I don't know if you've okay. had any other additional reports as of yet. But, yeah, I know where uh, that's that is. Where, yeah, that's where yeah. Uh, I'm not surprised we're going to start seeing damage reports um, at this point in time here probably over the next several minutes. So that's a look at uh, the cell down there in Tagalog County. Let's drop back into Miami and Clark County, where again, they are continuing with observed tornado at this point in time. And I think it would still be on the ground if it were to be, it is now clearly in Clark County now. Okay, now it appears to have crossed 235 mm -hmm. in between New Carlisle and Northampton. Let's get you a couple of street names here so we can kind of be a little bit more specific for you. So we're talking along County Road 334. There's Ohio Route 41, maybe as far south as County Highway 312. Uh, you're also talking about Spence Road and also talking about County Highway 312 again. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor all those things very closely over the next uh, several minutes. So uh, also Mobile Home Park uh, to the, let's see, so that's going to be near New Carlisle, north of Enon, north of Donaldsville. Um, so there's Springfield. Yes, yeah, so there are some mobile home communities in the path of this along Ohio Route 41. Again, I think I have every reason to believe at this point that the tornado is still on the ground. We go over to correlation coefficient. I don't see the debris signature, but Mike, that velocity signature is still very impressive. And now they have just dropped the observed tag off the tornado warning. Now back to just radar uh, indicated rotation with capable of producing a tornado. But based on the history, uh, this is still a storm to take very seriously right now. Absolutely. And, and part of that may be that it, it is in a relatively rural area right now, right now. That said, as long as it is, once it gets close to 68, which it will be very soon, 
uh, we may see potentially see more reports of it being observed. Um, yeah, so I mean, this this is a very dangerous situation, even for uh, the north side of Springfield. Um, some of those spots, as it has a history of moving like east northeast. So some of those communities there, there are some larger developments along County Road. There's US 68, and then there's County Road 68 and State Route 30, 334. So anywhere in that box, uh, Northridge is one of those spots. It's like Moorefield Road. It's not there, but it could be soon. Um, and then uh, Springfield Urbana Pike, that is County Road 68, County Road 184, Middle Urbana Road, Valley Pike, all of those you're on any of those roads, you need to be in your safe spot right now because uh, the radar is still showing some very um, significant, the, while, the, while we're not getting any returns out of uh, the Dayton Dirt Terminal Doppler anymore, which is in Cast Town, so it very well may have been impacted by the tornado um, now in Clark County. So I would, I would treat, uh, treat this as a tornado is still on the ground because of its history. Um, and yeah, any of those roads that I that I mentioned, especially along US 68 and any branches north of Springfield and into uh, Champaign County, so Tremont City, um, even the south side of Urbana, um, St. Paris, you're just outside of it. I'm not too concerned for St. Paris, uh, but south of Urbana, north of Springfield, that's going to be where it's going. Uh, and then we'll have to wait to see what happens from there and if we see if we get any more uh, reports from spotters and we'll see where our radar signatures take us into the next uh, hour or two even. I mean, our, our, our potential is not over yet in many communities. So we're watching this very closely. I haven't seen much. We are also kind of entering an area where there isn't as many or aren't as many live cameras. So I'm kind of keeping my eye on those. Uh, but this is a serious situation. The storm has quite the history. And as Nick mentioned, we are watching a couple other storms at the moment as well, um, including a storm with a little little hook on it uh, between Chillicothe and Circleville, north of Frankfort in Ross and Pickaway County. Um, we also have that storm. Uh, the tornado warning in Greene County will probably be allowed to expire, thankfully. Um, but we're still watching it just to make sure. Um, let me see if I can get my radar up here. Um, yeah, so the, the rotation there has somewhat weakened, but we have a lot of little spots, and that's all it takes sometimes is just getting the right amount of energy to push up and uh, fire yep. these things up. Okay, okay latest scan, scan is a little weaker in Clark County. That's good, but it's still showing a radar couplet. Uh, so, oh, wow. I did just see a video of the tornado on social media here. Yeah, wow. I've I've got credit to use one from Dark County. I haven't seen any others yet, uh, so I'll continue to watch that real quick. Let's bounce back down to Gallia County real quick. Still looking at a severe thunderstorm warning tag, destructive uh, for portions of Gallia and Lawrence counties, and then into Mason County, West Virginia. Uh, we're watching this very closely. Uh, the sign there still for some very large hail to golf ball size. It is moving slowly, so accumulating hail, not out of the question down there right now in that area, so we're watching that very closely. Uh, Green County tornado warning has been allowed to expire. The Eternal Doppler in Dayton is now back online, so that's some good news. Good. Uh, let's good. flip Let's flip back over to that. Uh, we likely won't see it for another minute or so on our end, uh, but while we're waiting on that to pop up back, again, our areas of concern right now, we still have five, really six storms of concern right now. Not all of them are severe. Alex, number one, tornado warning Clark and Champaign County. Number two, severe thunderstorm warning tag destructive for Gallia, Lawrence, and Mason counties. Area three, Perry County, supercell there with large hail. Area number four, supercell in Fairfield County, maybe some hail in area number five in northwestern Ross, southwestern Pickaway County, and area number six into Green County. And we'll have to watch that one over the next several minutes and see where that trends. So we're still very active and busy, and I will note those other strong storms in Washington County around Marietta over towards areas east of I-77. So still a lot to watch over the next several minutes, and we're going to be very busy monitoring all this as well. Let me see if I've got the terminal Doppler back. Okay, terminal Doppler in Dayton is now back. Let's look at the latest scan. 
and still, okay, I think this could still potentially be on the ground or maybe recycling again. Uh, just to the south of 41 and east of 235 near Northampton, Windy Acres over to Lawrenceville, maybe as far east as uh, Westridge and Jacksonville, right there along Ohio Route 41, still looking pretty nasty. I would be indoors until the storm passes. Very clear signature on radar of rotation and a hook echo on the southeastern side of that particular storm as it stands right now. So that's where things are right now in Clark County. And, and Mike, I would venture to say that Champaign County, uh, Christiansburg can come out of their shelters. I think this may be confined to uh, just a Clark County situation at this point. Yeah, uh, I do believe so. Um, however, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens as uh, the next, I don't know, I would say 15 minutes or so move on. Uh, because the tornado warning is in effect for 14 more minutes. But yeah, out of the Dayton Doppler, I'm still seeing that area of concern. It's not as pronounced, uh, yeah. but um, yeah, there it is. We got a new scan in, so I um, might just be a second or two behind you, but it looks like it's actually diving a little bit east southeast now. yeah and real quick mike north of muncie now a severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible for some rotation and very strong wind uh to the north of muncie they are concerned about some strong wind there that bright spot of yellow is actually 80 to 85 mile per hour winds being picked up and now up to 90 mile per hour winds being picked up on the radar so northeastern delaware county in indiana a severe thunderstorm warning for you I would be indoors right now, Eaton. That is north of Ball State, north of Muncie at this point in time. Um, new tornado warning now for Clark County till 7:15. Yeah. So we'll jump over to that one in just a second. But I just wanted to highlight Delaware County in East Central Indiana as we're monitoring that particular storm. And Mike, I think this is a very well warranted tornado warning for Clark County. And now I'm concerned those people with a Springfield address that are north of US 40 need to get to that safe place immediately. Eagle City. Villa over to the Clarence yeah. Brown Reservoir, also along US 68. Uh, this is going to be very close to also Bechtel Road. Uh, there's also a lot of shopping and a lot of business out there. There's a new tornado warning that now does include pretty much the rest of Clark County all the way up to the Madison County line. Mike, this is a very large uh, polygon. This is uh, They must have some good confidence with this one. And I, and I believe so. Uh, with its history, I uh, would absolutely say that um, the weather service is pretty confident that this storm um, will at least produce the threat for tornadoes uh, for quite some time and it has its history we've seen the video from social media we know we it have. happened so we have that confirmation and um, yeah it's a serious situation um, let's take a look here um, and if you look at the reflectivity on the Dayton radar it has that hook it has that textbook supercell structure um and it's i, I don't want to say this to be unsafe um but this is going to be something visible this isn't going to be rain wrapped right now just because everything from springfield uh to the north is pretty unobstructed and there's probably even some sunshine going on so again that um unobstructed inflow and energy source is is most likely what is keeping this going and has kept it going since our first report uh near phillipsburg um so again that new tornado warning um it's gonna go on until 7 15 uh butts right up to madison county so if it holds we're gonna have to see um you know what happens there um so if you're in madison county you're on deck not necessarily in the warning but you're on deck so north of springfield like nick said springfield address um the clarence uh, brown reservoir out there northeast of springfield that would be a place to be in shelter state route four anywhere in clark county along springfield points north um and then northridge so um we, we we have a lot of folks that live in that northridge area so that's bounded by state route 334 to the south middle urbana road and then to the north would be, uh, let's see if I can get a road name on that. Zooming in, Willow Road. So between Willow Road and 334 in Northridge, uh, please, please be in your safe spots. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tweet this. Um, 
and then um, from there we'll kind of look around and see what, what other areas of concern we have. Okay, uh, severe thunderstorm warning now. Tag tornado possible for winds up to 60 miles per hour. Fairfield, Hawking, Pickaway, and Ross County. So that's going to be for this uh, thunderstorm south of Circleville. Uh, so now we are starting to see some activity developing a little further to the south and east. No surprise here. But right now you're going to see a new orange polygon popping up on the screen here in just a few minutes. Pick away. Ross, Hawking, Fairfield County. Severe thunderstorm warning. Tag tornado possible. Be in a safe place right now. Circleville and Point South. North of Chillicothe over towards Lancaster and Logan. Anytime you hear that noise in the background, we have something that... Uh, we need to be concerned about tornado warning now for Delaware County, Indiana. So that's going to be north of Muncie now. They've went ahead and upgraded that to a tornado warning. So you guys are going to have to bear with us a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do a quick recap. Now we're going to bounce from southeast to northwest across our coverage area. So that's going to start us off down here in Gallia County. Southern Gallia County, large hail, tag destructive with a severe thunderstorm warning for Gallia and Mason counties. Uh, this is going to be for the potential scene golf ball size hail winds to 70 miles per hour. That's crossing the Ohio River right now into West Virginia. So early down to Apple Grove, that's a supercell thunderstorm long lived out of Scioto County with the potential for large hail. Working off to the north, we still have a, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning tagged tornado possible. Um, we're waiting for that warning polygon to pop up on the screen for you, but that's for Pickaway, Ross, Hawking, and Fairfield. There it is right there. This one tagged tornado possible, quarter size hail, winds to 60 miles per hour. I'm also concerned about Fairfield County, north of Lancaster, a supercell in progress there. Also into Perry County, a supercell in progress with large hail, north of New Lex, passing through Somerset towards Crooksville. I'm working back to the northwest a little further, a tornado warning with a history of having a tornado on the ground for Clark County. This includes Springfield, Downtown Springfield, you need to be in a safe place right now. That's going to be as many walls between you and the outside. That's going to be below ground. Be in a safe place. That's going to cross US 68 near Bechtel Road at US, sorry, Ohio Route 41 uh, in the next little while. There's a, that's a very busy time of the day in that area. I'm very concerned about the number of shopping centers that are in this area. Uh, there's also numerous retail stores, large buildings. So we need to find a more substantial shelter. Um, if you can get into the centermost part of those areas right now, find a more substantial and safe shelter. Also to Ohio Route 334 and also Route 4. If you're coming out of Springfield heading towards Mechanicsburg, you need to be in a safe place right now until this tornado passes you. Again, this has a history of producing tornadoes on it, so we need to be aware of that. Also heading towards I-70 in the long run. If you're coming out of Columbus right now, you're coming into Clark County at the rest stop there on the Madison-Clark County line, stop right there. Let's see what this storm is going to do for the next several minutes. We don't recommend trying to outrun the tornado ever. That is not something that we want to do. Um, it's new severe thunderstorm for Claremont County. We'll get to that in a minute. Also a tornado warning for Delaware County in Indiana. I want to stress that this is Indiana near Eaton. We are seeing some signs of rotation. This has shown a long-lived history of very strong winds. And yes, now there is some rotation there. Uh, that's going to be just to the south of Red Key in Jake County and southwest of Red Key, I should say. Uh, but we are seeing some wind readings over 80 miles per hour and gate-to-gate -gate shear of around 100 miles per hour. So if there's a tornado in progress there, it could be a pretty healthy one. Now we're looking a ways away from the Indianapolis radar and we don't have good coverage just yet from the Toronto Doppler and date, but we're watching that very closely. So Mike, right now things are very busy. There's even a severe thunderstorm warning for Dearborn and Ripley County again. Uh, they've been hit pretty hard today with numerous rounds of thunderstorms. Appears to be a new supercell in progress there. So uh, that's a quick recap. You have any other reports yet? I know it's very, very busy at the moment. We're trying to track uh, multiple storms at one time, but that's what we have right now. Yeah, so um, I was, I've also been kind of keeping an eye on some local media out of the Dayton area as well. And apparently there was a rope tornado near Eagle City, uh, which is just north of Springfield. So this, I would still... It's on the ground. It still is. Um, the, I just saw, I, I got a media report out of Dayton. Somebody on social media posted a rope tornado in Eagle City uh, just within the last five minutes. So, and if we look at our radar, from oh, Dayton, yeah. Wilmington. Yep, yeah. Yep, you're, yep. You're, yep, you're right on it there. Also, this just in from the Weather Service in Wilmington. Um, near Lawrenceville, moving east, they'll be heading towards Buck Creek State Park, Rose Garden Mobile Home Park. This is on top of you right now. Hopefully you're in a more substantial shelter and in a safe place. Also, Upper Fox Hollow, moving east, Walnut Hills, Sean's Woods, down to Ridgewood. There's also, there's Bechtel Avenue right there. Again, this is very busy. A lot of retail stores, a lot of food places. 
Guys need to be in a more substantial and safe place until that storm passes you. Very dangerous storm, Mike. I think the rotation has picked back up just a little bit, as you said there, uh, crossing through Eagle City. Yeah, absolutely, it has. And so 68, it's probably crossing 68 right now. If, if we already had video, I mean, we're, we're talking about a five to 10 minute lag time here. So uh, the Clarence Brown Reservoir there in Clark County, north of Springfield, that's where it is right now. So um, US 40, you're probably seeing it from US 40 uh, and 41. And these are not encouraged, this is not encouragement to go out and look. I know that's generally what people do in these situations but this is a very dangerous situation here and i'm going to try to get some uh, odot cameras from springfield unfortunately there aren't any along 68 but there are along 70. so if i can get a camera looking at it i'm hoping we could get like a shot or something like that um Madison County rest area. No, that won't do it. Um, so yeah, um, treat this as it is on the ground. We had video of it from social media. Um, and yeah, it would be even out of Eagle. City oh now, yeah. Uh, and North Springfield. Yeah. Mike, uh, right there on upper Valley Pike, the velocity, there's a donut hole on velocity from the terminal Doppler in Dayton. So that concerns me gravely that there is, uh, uh, there could be a, a decent tornado on the ground there right now. Uh, you guys can kind of see this this yeah. th this box right here where there is no green and no data. Uh, that's a pretty sizable block with no data right now. So uh, that's very concerning. So also over here towards Terra Kella Manor, also down towards, again, Eagle, Edgewood Farms, Olympic Hills, Ridgewood, Walnut Hills, Sean's Woods. Being a safe place right now, again, a tornado warning continues likely tornado on the ground based on what we're seeing and also based on what the weather service is telling us again if you are coming out of madison county or columbus on i-70 you come up to the clark county line you've got the rest stop right there come to a stop do not progress into clark county any further likewise if you're coming out of dayton 70 east once you get to about enon come to a stop and just wait let's see where this storm is going to progress still seeing donut hole on velocity at this point in time and we have a new severe thunderstorm warning for Jay County. That's going to be for the storm crossing out of Delaware County, uh, Indiana, at this point in time that has a tornado warning on it at this time. Working back to the south just for a couple of moments, severe thunderstorm warning tornado possible for southeastern Pickaway County, northern half of Ross County, southwestern Fairfield County, west central Hawking County. Quarter size hail possible here. If we go over to reflectivity, there's your velocity imagery. Broad rotation. I think this is a pretty good call here. And between Clark Clarksburg and Greenland, that's going to head towards Kingston. That's likely going to ride for a little while the Pickaway Ross County line, so just be prepared for that. That'll head over towards Laurelville in western Hawking County in the next few minutes, so just kind of be prepared for that. Still watching an existing storm with broad rotation, still pretty intense north of Lancaster heading towards Baltimore. That's going to cross. Uh, that's going to be Ohio Route 37 south of Buckeye Lake, but if you're out on Buckeye Lake, you need to get off the lake, dock the boats, and get out of uh, get out of the water. Perry County, I'm really surprised we've not seen a warning on this one. Very strong storm, capable of producing large hail at this point in time. Uh, so we are monitoring this very closely um, at this point in time. Let's take you down to the south real quick. Gallia County, Mason County, still a very strong storm here. Um, so we're watching this very closely right now, and I'm Thank you, Zach, for that. This one's still tag destructive. Golf ball sized hail winds to 70 miles an hour until 7 o'clock for southeastern Gallia and western Mason County, West Virginia. We're watching that very close. Let's go back over to the Wilmington radar. We appear to now have a correlation coefficient drop off in debris. Oh, yeah, that is not good. Um, this is going to be crossing 68 in Bechtel Avenue near St. Paris Pike. Uh, that's a concern there that I have right now. It's the latest scan takes it a little further to the east now let's look at uh, terminal Doppler and velocity my goodness uh, that is about as clear cut of a sign um, the sheriff's department said there's been some rotation um, there's now a tornado warning for Randolph County so we are now continuing to add to the tornado counts that we currently have in progress so we're gonna do a quick reset here in just a second uh, Mike is on the phone right now taking a quick call uh, but again right now likely tornado on the ground uh, exiting Eagle City, just crossed through Rose Garden Mobile Home Park, now crossing Ohio Route 72. That's now heading towards Route 4, the Clarence Brown Reservoir, being a safe place right now. 
Uh, we are watching things very closely. This is a dangerous storm. Be in a safe place. I cannot stress this enough. This is a long-lived supercell. Now it's dropped more than likely now multiple tornadoes. Again, now we're talking north of Springfield, north of US-40, coming towards Villa and New Moorfield. You need to be in a safe place right now. The Weather Service is now going with an observed tornado warning. Clark County, observe tornado warning now, including the cities of Springfield, Harmony, South Vienna, Catawba, and New Moorfield. You continue to see the updates coming in simultaneously there from the terminal Doppler in uh, Clark County there. I'm sorry, in Dayton there, just to the west of Clark County. But we are now seeing continued drop-off now of, re of the velocity signatures, very intense. And uh, Mike Joyce is getting back on with us now, it looks like, in just a moment. But again, a tornado now on the ground north of Springfield exiting uh, U.S. 68. Let's head back to the west now. Randolph County tornado warning radar indicated at this point in time now for northern Randolph County. Severe thunderstorm warning for Jay County. Uh, rotation continues to be present on that storm. History of producing very strong wind gusts as well. We look at the velocity there. Northern Randolph County. This is a radar dead zone a little bit. We don't have great coverage here, but Ridgeville down to uh, Saratoga, north of Winchester. Being a safe place now, tornado warning for you. Even southern Jay County, south of Portland, towards it's Red Key, Mount New Pleasant, being a safe place. And Mike, are you back now with us? I'm back. Uh, I just took a I just took a call from my mom. She's actually on 71 right now near the Outlet Mall in uh, Fayette County. Okay. And she was looking at that storm in Southern Madison County, just observing. And she she just wanted to know if she's okay. And we'll be traveling through Columbus here in the next 40 minutes. So it's like. It, Honestly, with the way this storm is going for folks... Hey, Mike, we have a new tornado warning now for portions of Champaign, Logan, Madison, and Union. So this is going to be for a separate storm now north of oh, Urbana. Okay. Now towards West Liberty, they're starting to see some rotation signs. This does not yep. include Mechanicsburg or yep. Bell Fountain or Marysville or London. But now there's a tornado warning, including portions of Madison, Union, and Logan counties, and along with Champaign County. So we need to be in a safe place. This is a very busy evening. Uh, new severe thunderstorm warning now for quarter, uh, Penny Size Hill winds to 60 miles per hour for Fairfield and Licking County. Now that does include Buckeye Lake. So as we said, you need to get off the water and dock the boat and get into a more substantial shelter. So we're tracking that. We still have severe thunderstorm warnings to the south for portions of Claremont County. Quarter Size Hill for a storm crossing out of Kenton County, Kentucky out of the Florence area capable of producing large hail and we're still tracking a slow moving long lived supercell down in Gallia County dropping uh, what could again likely be accumulating hail now crossing the Ohio River that would be a sight to see watching golf ball hail fall into the river uh, crossing through Apple Grove north of Ashton south of Arley that's going to cross US 35 in Mason County here in a little bit so Mike we've got uh, several hundred miles here just expansive of, of warnings across the board and I don't think we're done yet we, we, I think we got a little ways to go yet for sure absolutely yeah this is a um, yeah a, a serious situation now developing and we just, I just got a new uh, radar scan update on the Clark County storm. So this would be on top of the reservoir right now. So yep. uh, the reservoir I'm talking about is the Clarence J. Brown Reservoir. Um, and then, yeah, you said the Brookside Park Mobile Home Park. Yeah, it's right on top of that right now. You did mention that, I believe. Yep. Um, See, yeah, so we're, we're going to continue yeah. to monitor this over the next few minutes. And real quick, I'm also seeing some additional reports coming in uh, that there was a tornado report on the ground in Clark County, Tremont City at Eagle Road. Um, so we're watching that as well. A new severe thunderstorm warning now from Eskingham and Noble Counties in eastern Ohio. So, again, we have to be patient with this as we continue to bounce around. Uh, we've got several storms to cover. A new severe thunderstorm warning as well. Finally, now we're seeing one for Perry and Morgan counties. That's a long-lived supercell now capable of producing some large hail there. Uh, so we're going to have to watch this again over the next several minutes. Uh, again, just a very dangerous situation that we are dealing with right now. Also still seeing some rotation even at times down into Mason County, West Virginia, but that is staying severe thunderstorm warning at, at this time. So this is a look at all the warnings. We've got three tornado warnings, and we now have, I believe, eight or nine severe thunderstorm warnings. So uh, this is what we were expecting today to kind of potentially set up for. Um, and, and Mike, so far today, the tornado warnings have been near and north of I-70, and even though we've seen some different structures south of I-70, uh, this is a little bit of a different situation today. We, you, you talked about that gradient near I-70, and that's kind of where the tornado signatures have been today, and especially now the confirmed tornado warnings and the radar-indicated tornado warnings. Yeah, absolutely. And um, these storms are starting to get a little bit far from the Dayton radar. 
Um, so we are going to have to rely on uh, Wilmington more and more, but I can see why they issued the, especially that new tornado warning up in Northern Champaign, Southwestern Union, and a very small sliver of Logan County. So if you're in, if you're up near Indian Lake, mm -hmm. Bell Fountain, those spots aren't in the warning. So if you're hearing sirens at all up in Logan County, um, those spots are okay for now. It's near North Lewisburg, which is where uh, Union and Logan and um, Champaign County come together. Milford Center, uh, Marysville, well, the southwestern portion of Marysville is in the tornado warning. Um, because of an area of rotation back here, um, not just a little east of US 68. I think US 68 is probably in the clear now in Champaign County and also in Clark County as well. But we still have this very strong storm uh, with a potential observed tornado still. It may be cycling, but it also may be still dropping some rotation at the ground. So South Vienna, Catawba, all of those uh, locations should be in there. Storm shelters now, State Route 54, State Route 56. Um, and even Choctaw Lake, that's in Madison County, but it's right on the Madison and uh, Clark County line. I would be in your safe spot if you're anywhere near Choctaw Lake because that's where it's heading, heading right along I-70 now um, is where we're seeing this at the moment. So I'm still trying to see if I can't find any camera confirmation of what's going on. Um, 70 at Buena Vista. Okay, so that's out near South Vienna. Yeah, and yeah, while you're, while, while you're uh, looking at that, Mike, we got a new severe thunderstorm warning from Mason County, West Virginia. Continuing tag destructive, long-lived golf ball-sized hail-type thunderstorm. Uh, again, this is it's not been observed yet, but I would be willing to say we're likely going to get some confirmed reports south of Gallup Police of some very large hail uh, in the near future. So that's the latest update down there, mainly across the mid-Ohio Valley. Um, I just heard that uh, noise go off again there. Uh, so let's see if we have anything new. Uh, to pass along at this point. We have a new tornado warning now for Clinton, Fayette, and Highland County. A new tornado warning. Uh, this is going to be just to the east of the Wilmington Weather Service office. So this will include okay. uh, what looks like New Vienna, Lees Creek, uh, Buena Vista over to Leesburg. So now we are seeing tornado warnings again. Now for, now we're seeing the south of I-70 now. So then I'm be interested to see what the Wilmington Weather Service office has seen um, anything now that this is just past them, uh, but you'll see that polygon pop up on the screen in just a moment. Uh, real quick, the also Miss Kingham County severe thunderstorm warning for you until 7:15. There's your new tornado warning polygon now. There, this just cuts into Fayette County, uh, but this is primarily now for New Vienna, Leesburg, and if you have a Hillsborough address, I'd be in a safe place anyway. Um, and also, just getting some video in of a tornado in Troy. Not surprised. Um, and also some damage of the Meyer Distribution Center. Um, so so that's, that's not good. That does not look very good at all from what I can see there um, in this video. There is some significant, uh, significant damage. It looks like at least one side of the distribution center uh, has collapsed or caved in. Uh, so we hope that everybody was safe there. Obviously, it's likely a place that uh, stays pretty busy. Uh, and stays very active at all hours of the day. So th that's a, definitely a concern for us uh, as we continue to move through the next little while. So count them now. Four tornado warnings on the board. Let's kind of get you up to date on all of them starting in the west. For northern Randolph County, we have a severe thunder. Sorry, tornado warning now for northern Randolph County. Um, let me check these updates again. Continued tornado warning for Clark County. They've dropped the observed off of it for the time being. Um, Issues 20 to warning for Randolph. Okay, rotation is approaching Bridgeville now in the Randolph County storm. Um, still the potential for damaging winds is going to continue with that one. Just kind of looking at some updates here. Um, okay, not seeing tornado in, in uh, Mason County, so that's good there. Um, and just kind of looking at just some overall updates. The severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible for Jay County. So that's going to be, again, here. So here's Randolph County, north of Winchester. There's US 27. There is at least enough concern. There's your velocity signature. There's still some strong to damaging winds on the order of 65 to 75 miles per hour right now that we need to be concerned with in northern Randolph County. That may cross into Dark County north of Greenville if this line holds together. So we need, we need to really watch that one closely. Getting back into Clark County where the storm has had a history of producing multiple tornadoes this evening. Uh, velocity getting a little muddy at this point in time. 
but nevertheless, northeastern Clark County, north of Harmony, north of South Vienna, approaching that I-70, and, and that's going to be Ohio Route 54 exit, especially now again north of 70. Uh, we need to be in a safe place, Brookside Park Mobile Home Park. That's the next mobile home park in the path. We need to be, excuse me, taking our tornado safe uh, precautions at this point in time until this storm passes you. Uh, we're continuing to watch all these very closely. Tornado warning continues for Logan, Champaign, Union, and Northwestern Madison County here for the next several minutes. That rotation appears to have broadened out just a little bit. Um, but let me just make sure we're not missing anything here. Um, okay, large okay. tree uprooted and fell onto a car in Lancaster. No injuries reported. So that's a piece of good news. Uh, that's obviously something we, 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 we don't want to hear about injuries. That's the last thing that we want to hear about. And thankfully, there were no injuries reported out of that. Dropping back to the south real quick. Uh, this storm in southeastern Clinton County bears watching. I don't see any signs of strong rotation here. Uh, but just the overall look of things and the, and, and the way that things have been trending for the last hour, uh, we are concerned about the potential for some tornadic development here in southeastern Clinton County, crossing into northern Highland County, and also clipping southern Fayette County. And again, we continue to get these um, updates here. They continue severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible for Jay County. Uh, real quick, also down to the south and west, a new severe thunderstorm warning for Claremont, Brown, Adams, and Highland Counties. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour, the main concern there. That goes until 7.45 p.m. this evening. So we continue to remain very busy across the board here, and we appreciate you uh, joining us here this evening. This has uh, been some long-form coverage. It's been getting a little busy at times, and we appreciate you uh, working with us as we continue to bounce around across all these storms. Let's touch base on central Ohio. Still severe thunderstorm warning. Tag tornado possible, southern Pickaway, northern Ross, western Hawking, southwestern Fairfield. That cell's crossing US 23 um, at this point in time, but we'll have to watch this very closely to see how things progress. Um, also exiting Fairfield County, east of Ohio, Route 37, north of West Russville, a decent sized hail core. This one has a history of producing tree damage, one that fell onto a car north of Lancaster a short time ago. That includes also up into Heath, Amsterdam, and Hebron near Buckeye Lake. We need to be off the water at this point in time, making sure that we are inside in a safe place. Severe thunderstorm warning exiting Perry, Morgan County, moving into Muskingum County, south of Zanesville. Large hail potential here and damaging winds to 60 miles per hour. And lastly, as another update, Mason County, a long-lived severe thunderstorm warning here with that destructive tag of winds up to 70 miles per hour and the potential for hail up to golf ball size. So that's a quick recap of every warning that we have across our region right now. And obviously, it, I mean, Mike, Mike, it's kind of a difficult to pick which tornado warning to start with, but they're all important and they're all producing rotation um, in, in their own fashions right now. Yeah, and the good news is I, I, I'm keeping an eye at some uh, on some of the cameras here. Um, I, I it, and I'm also looking at the Wilmington radar. It does look like the rotation on the Clark County one. Now that's the one that has had the confirmed tornado in it. It does seem to be broadening out a little bit, both from the Dayton and the Wilmington radar. So that's good news as it heads into Madison County. But it is right along I-70 now, pretty much. So I'm keeping an eye on the I-70 cameras. And so far, so good. However, um, the we are still getting a little bit of sunlight. So I wouldn't be shocked to see, um, you know, the potential for this to reinvigorate once again. Hopefully not, but it does show signs of weakening. And it does look like the National Weather Service may allow that tornado warning to expire here in 17 minutes. We will see. If it doesn't expire, it's going to move into Madison County along I-70. That's probably yeah. where we would be looking at it right now. Yeah, we've got a new severe um, thunderstorm. And then, yeah, that one to the north. Yeah, we got a new severe thunderstorm. Real quick, uh, a newly developing supercell potentially with some large hail coming right through downtown Marietta. So a severe thunderstorm warning for Washington County, Ohio, along with Tyler and Pleasance counties in West Virginia until 745. There's your polygon. In fact, there's actually a couple storms here in Washington County that bear watching, but obviously the most important of which coming through downtown Marietta, crossing I-77. So that'll head towards Grandview in, uh, right there on the Ohio River. 
wing it run way to Newport. So just wanted to give you a quick update on that. Obviously, tornado warnings uh, taking precedence, but I, I just wanted to touch base on that there uh, for just a couple of minutes. So there's our four tornado warnings in view. Um, I'm, I'm waiting to see if there's any updates um, on the southern tornado warning. They're saying strong rotation aloft just west of New, of New Vienna. These are indications that rotation is lowering, but it's not occurred yet. This will go right over New Vienna toward Highland and Leesburg, according to the Weather Service in Wilmington. So that's going to be on this southern storm here south of Lees Creek. Again, that includes the community of New Vienna. There's your velocity. Again, we're not seeing much in the way of rotation there, but uh, certainly the Weather Service in Wilmington seeing something uh, within that storm. And I even see a little bit of a donut hole. That could be what they're watching there. Uh, so mm, we'll watch yeah. and see what that says. Uh, and again, the Azos station out of Dayton continues to report tornadoes. So I'm not sure where they may be looking at to, to see that, uh, but they continue to report that. So that's most of what you're hearing in the background, that Azos station continuing to uh, announce that. So going back into Clark County, thankfully this rotation has broadened. Uh, but Mike, as we've seen, this has been the most impressive storm of the day, and it has cycled numerous times today. Right, and yeah, and we have absolute confirmation that it has dropped tornadoes in several communities. So uh, as it does move into Madison County, even though it's a little weaker right now, uh, we still have to watch it because we're, you know, it, it would be approaching the north side of London soon, um, some rural areas along 70, and then eventually into the Columbus Metro um, within the hour, uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. So. Um, this does bear watching as it does uh, get closer and closer to a lot of people. And similar for that tornado warning up uh, just to the southwest of Marysville, this one isn't looking as impressive either as it was earlier. Um, and the Weather Service is still saying radar indicated. Um, but, um, oh wow, I'm actually just getting some of my first looks at the Meyer Distribution Center in Tip City. Wow. Um, yeah, sorry. That, it just, no, that that does yeah, not look good. Seeing it, yeah, that's wow, that's not good. No, that uh, so does yeah, not look again, good at all. That's the storm that did it. The one uh, that is now about to cross into I or in the Madison County. Again, it's weaker now. The Weather Service hasn't immediately indicated that they're going to issue a tornado warning for Madison County, at least the London and I seventy portion. Uh, but it bears uh, watching as well. Yeah, it does. So real quick, if you're just now tuning in, it's a quick reset. Uh, I won't take too long here, but this is forecaster Nick Dunn alongside meteorologist Mike Joyce. Multiple tornado warnings, numerous severe thunderstorm warnings, and I, I, I would be willing to say um, that we could see um, additional warnings over the next several minutes. So there's a plethora of polygons right now, uh, kind of a mess of them. So let's just kind of talk about them over here in uh, far eastern portions of central Ohio working into the northern mid-Ohio Valley. So severe thunderstorms, there's two of them, uh, and both of which could be producing some large hail. One south of Zanesville, one exiting Fairfield County now, and moving into Perry County. The movement is to the east-northeast on those. So north of Somerset, north of New Lexington, going to be getting the worst of that hail. Also over here towards Philo and Blue Rock on that eastern storm, watching that one very closely as well. Down to the south and east Washington County, this one looks very impressive. I just saw a couple comments and reports of some large hail there uh, coming across portions of Washington County. So we're watching that as well. That also includes portions of Tyler and Pleasance Counties as well. Uh, real quick, I'm going to update the uh, ticker real quick. That way everybody can see all of the warnings. Since we have so many now, it may take a few minutes to cycle through. Uh, tornado warning continues here for southeastern Clinton County, northern Highland County, southern Fayette County for another 12 minutes. Starting to see a little bit better of a sign of some hook, uh, some rotation type signatures there just to the east of New Vienna. that will head towards Leesburg and may eventually cross uh, into portions of western Ross County around Greenfield or South Salem. So we're watching that closely as well. Down to the south, severe thunderstorm warning, several kinks in this line. Uh, south and east of Mount Orab, down towards Bethlehem and Georgetown. Dangerous thunderstorms here, capable of producing strong to near damaging wind gusts, and maybe even some pockets where we could be seeing some a little bit more than damaging wind gusts, maybe approaching 70 miles per hour, just based on the structure and the way those look. Tornado warning continues here for Randolph County, and the Weather Service in Indianapolis is going to have to make a decision here in the next few minutes. This is a tornado warning for Randolph County, along with a severe thunderstorm warning for Jay County. Um, and now they've prompted a severe thunderstorm warning for Mercer, Dark, Allglaze, Shelby, and Miami counties until 745 this evening. 
and that is going to be because of this line of severe thunderstorms capable of producing damaging winds is crossing now into Ohio, uh, and that's going to be for winds up to 70 miles per hour, a new severe thunderstorm warning for Randolph County. That'll be just the northeastern sliver of Randolph County there along um, Indiana Route 28, east of Saratoga to the Ohio-Indiana state line around Union City, and I believe they may have tagged that one 20 to possible. Let me double-check that for just a second here. They did, and that is going to be considerable for uh, the, the, the damage tag. Let's look at the terminal Doppler out of Dayton and see what we can see here on this. Uh, not seeing much in the way of rotation, so that's good. But again, we're a ways out yet, looking a little higher up in the sky with the radar beam. So thus, we're likely not going to get a real good read on that one just yet. So we're going to continue to monitor that one very closely. And again, so those of you now towards Sydney, Troy, Greenville, south of Salina, south of Wapak, south of St. Mary's, uh, kind of in that uh, corridor there. And this also includes I-75 and US-127. We need to be in a safe place indoors until that storm passes. Not quite to your tornado shelters just yet. Updates on the tornado warnings that we previously had. Portions of southwestern Union County, northern Madison County, that cell has passed way out of the polygon at this point, and same for Clark County. But obviously, the damage is done, right? We have several reports of damage, several reports uh, of we've had tornadoes on the ground this evening, um, in these areas so this is a really dangerous situation and we want you to be made aware that these storms could cycle back up again as they continue to progress down into more of central Ohio so that's the latest update there a tornado warning to the south here northern Highland County southern Clinton County and southern Fayette County this one looks a little better reflectivity wise and a little better rotation wise so that's gonna cross US 62 south of Leesburg and we'll see this tornado warning continue for another nine minutes we could see this one reissued if uh, conditions allow. Working off to the south, severe thunderstorm warning, Mount Orab, Georgetown, Bethel, seeing just a plethora of strong to damaging wind gusts with this. Could even see a brief tornado, not out of the question here with this one whatsoever. Uh, so we're watching this one very closely over the next several minutes just to see how it progresses. Okay, tornado warning now for Washington County. This is going to be for north and east of Marietta for a supercell that is continuing to produce some large hail. So now that uh, we've been live over on the middle Ohio Valley Weather Update, let's give you folks just a little bit of attention here. Uh, tornado warning now for Washington County. Radar indicated rotation. This is going to be east of Marietta. So if you live in Belpre, if you live in Marietta, this does not necessarily include you. This is going to be east of I-77. And let's flip it over to Velocity. And yeah, there certainly is some broad rotation, and that's actually really impressive because this is the northern end of the Charleston radar beam. And the fact that we're seeing broad rotation, I, I certainly see why they went ahead and issued this tornado warning. This is a, a little bit of a dead zone for radar. So you're going to see the red polygon pop up here in just a second, but that's going to be for Washington County until 7.30 this evening. So a pretty dangerous situation now unfolding east of Marietta. This will head over towards Wade, Grandview, Wing It Run, and uh, down towards Newport, although even if you live in Newport, uh, I think you may be safe from this one as it continues to progress off uh, towards the north. So we're watching that one very closely. Um, severe thunderstorm warnings continue for Randolph County. We've talked about that. There's your polygon now. So as you see, this does not include downtown Marietta. If you are along and west of I-77, you're okay. If you're east of I-77, you're not okay. You need to be in that safe place right now. Put as many walls between you and the outside as, uh, as possible. And Mike, that storm, uh, it's, that's going to be tough to get a good look on it. But in, in addition to that tornado threat, Okay, another new right. tornado warning, Delaware and Union County now. So um, a new tornado warning for that storm exiting. Uh, that is going to be exiting the – that's going to be – okay, that might actually be the far northern portions of the county um, if, was what I'm thinking there. Until uh, 7.30. Um, let me wait for the polygon to pop up there. You might see it before I do. But, uh, again, another new tornado warning now for Union and Delaware County until 7.30. Radar indicated rotation. So now we're back to – four, technically five active tornado warnings now on the map, and now another new tornado warning, Adams and Highland County, and also Brown County oh, until 745. Yep. I just mentioned this a couple minutes ago, that there could be a rain-wrapped tornado here, and now, sure enough, we have a new tornado warning. So, wow, that rotation is very tight near Sardinia, right there along County Road 24, being about to cross Ohio Route 134, being a safe place. Uh, we're bouncing back and forth this evening across all these different storms, uh, so you're going to have to bear with us, but that's now another new tornado warning. And, Mike, I'd venture to say that one could be on the ground down there as, as wrapped up as that is. 
That's a very decent uh, radar signature there coming right into Sardinia right now, down towards Brownstown. That'll head towards Fincastle, Macon, Winchester, and Emerald as that crosses into Adams County in the next few minutes. That looks very dangerous. Yeah, it does. And if you look at reflectivity, I mean, it, this has that textbook it does. Uh, inflow notch here, and that is very concerning. I'm going to take a look at our correlation coefficient. Um, we might have a little, yeah, we might have a little bit of debris lofted, although it might be early, right near Sardinia. Yeah. yeah along 32 there, the Appalachian Highway right there. And then, yep, it's right on top of Sardinia right there. Um, and then that would be heading east. Uh, the U.S. 62 would be next. Uh, and then State Route 136 would be beyond that. So... Um, yeah, this is a, a very dangerous situation. Um, so that's going to be going until 745. Um, yeah, real quick, the tornado warning for Union and Delaware County does include the city of Delaware and the city of Marysville. So those are two populated areas. I have to tell you, I'm not seeing a whole lot on... Right. I'm, I'm really not seeing... Let me check terminal out of Columbus. Maybe check terminal out of Dayton. I'm not seeing a whole lot there, but that's radar indicated rotation, um, and that's a tornado warning for another 20 minutes. So be in a safe place if you live in Marysville or Delaware. There's your new tornado warning, Southern Highland County, Northern Adams County, Northeastern Brown County. Uh, that's a very dangerous thunderstorm there as well, about to cross, as Mike said, US 62. So now we're up to five tornado warnings on the board so you're going to have to bear with us i will say the tornado warning for randolph county has been allowed to expire uh, or that will expire on time at 7 15 uh, so we will continue to watch that as well uh, tornado appears to be occurring right now tds on the radar now in brown county over sardinia mike caught that a little maybe a scan early but yeah there's certainly some debris there it is right there that's going to cross as mike said the appalachian highway just to the east of Sardinia. So that, again, that's a tornado on the ground. We need to be in our safe places now. And so that's going to be five points. Finn Castle, Emerald, and Macon. Also down towards US 62. Again, being a safe place right now. Very dangerous situation unfolding there. New severe thunderstorm warning for Guernsey and Noble County as well till 745. Just trying to keep everybody updated on all of these warnings as they come in. And of course, if you're just now tuning in, you can catch all of the warnings um, on the bottom of our screen here this evening. So we're going to continue to monitor all this very closely for you. Um, and I apologize if the video is uh, cutting out just a little bit on you. Um, I appear to maybe having just a little bit of connectivity issue. I'll work on seeing if I can get uh, that resolved here while we're live because obviously this is a pretty dangerous situation. Uh, and obviously if we have to, I can I can get somebody else to go live and I can join them if need be. But uh, that's we want to try to avoid that if we can. So a uh, new mm -hmm. severe thunderstorm warning. Guernsey, Muskingum, Noble, till 745, 60 mile per hour winds, uh, and some quarter size hail. So we'll continue to monitor all of that uh, there as well. Mike, you have anything else new? Uh, we are looking at, let's see here, nothing new that you didn't cover at the moment. I am looking at the camera. Uh, at US 33 and State Route 347. So Real quick, Mike, we got a new tornado in, warning in. for Pocking, Pickaway, and Ross. Another new tornado warning has been issued. Uh, it's going to be for northeastern Ross County. Definitely some rotation popping up there. Yeah, that's another clear sign of rotation yep. there, just to the yep. south of Laurelville, uh, just to the south of, the, of Ohio Route 180. So uh, that's a pretty dangerous storm right now as well. So we have another new tornado warning there. So uh, again, a plethora of them across the board right now, and we appreciate everybody that is still with us here this evening. Also, severe thunderstorm warning continues for Mercer, Dark, Ogley, Shelby, Miami County. Winds up to 60 miles per hour. Severe thunderstorm warnings continue across the board from Muskingum, Guernsey, Noble County, back into Fairfield County. Multiple thunderstorms capable of producing large hail. Tornado warning continues for Washington County. Let's go back into this one. Wow, that one is also very wrapped up just to the east of Marietta. Yeah. That velocity is not very clear, but that reflectivity is about as clear as it gets just to the east of Marietta. That's a pretty dangerous looking storm there. Um, also a severe thunderstorm warning now from Monroe and Wetzel counties as we continue to monitor that storm right on the Ohio River there near New, New Martinsville and Sistersville moving off towards the east. So uh, pretty dangerous situations all across the board this evening. Uh, we've been on the air now continuously live now for almost an hour and a half with you. 
and we continue to monitor all this very closely. So we are now with five tornado warnings on the board. You're going to see the fifth one pop up in just a minute for portions of Pickaway, Ross, and Hawking counties, where we have a radar indicated rotation signature in northeastern Ross County there. And that, wow, that extends all the way over to near Nelsonville at the Hawking Athens County line. So that's right. going to be a long lived tornado warning. And Mike, I still don't see much on the Union Delaware County storm. Um, I'm just no. not, not seeing much on velocity. Um, I, I see some strong winds, but I'm not seeing any uh, rotation. That, and that's good news. Um, I, it could have just been a cautionary um, exercise, I would su suppose, by the National Weather Service, just because of the history of this storm cluster. Um, thankfully, the storm that has had all those confirmed tornadoes in dark Miami and Clark County that has weakened uh, as it moves uh, into Franklin County, just to the west of Hilliard. So I'm not too concerned about that storm anymore, thankfully. Um, and yeah, the storm to the north in Marysville, nothing on either the Columbus Terminal or Wilmington is really giving me a lot of concern at the moment. Although there is a very, very broad rotation, I want to say just to the east of downtown Marysville. Um, but I do believe that that tornado warning may be allowed to expire or convert it into a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, now that said, we really want to focus on Hawking County because this is a bigger concern. Not only, um, now it is less populated than Marysville and Delaware, but it's also very hilly. The, the, the view, uh, seeing this coming is going to be nearly impossible because of all the full trees in the area, because of the winding roads. Um, so spots like Laurelville, just to the south of, uh, right along, I should say right along the Hawking and, uh, Pickaway and Ross County line there. So that's Laurelville. So this is running just south of Laurelville. But again, because this, we are scanning so far from the radar, this can be displaced a little bit. So if you're anywhere along State Route 56, South Bloomingville and Hawking County, um, South Perry, we have a lot of cabins, uh, Hocking Hills cabins that are nestled along some of these roads. And another problem is the cell phone service is not good in the area. A lot of folks will not have cell phone service. So if you know anybody in Hocking County, call their landline and let them know. Um, a lot of folks get their TV through satellite because there isn't cable. It's a very rural area, but there are a lot of people that live there, vacation there, and just visit. So. Um, if you know anyone in Hawking County right now, try to wow. get a hold of them um, because this is serious. Yeah, just to the south of Lorville now, that latest reflectivity uh, signature has picked up. Also, for those of you that have been watching on the Middle High Value Weather Update, Ken is going to start a separate stream over on the Middle High Value Weather Update to discuss the tornado warning in particular for Washington County. So if you want to watch some coverage of that, you're going to want to hop over to the Middle Ohio Valley Weather Update, and that's nice because that will now kind of allow us to – uh, talk about the other ones and we can kind of just touch on that one every once in a while. So uh, also severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible now from Cleveland for Marion and Morrow County. Severe thunderstorm oh, yes. warning tag tornado possible. That's going to be for a line of storms crossing south of Marion that will cross through the rest of the southern half of Marion County. Um, and we'll see that continue for the next several minutes. So uh, we're seeing some pretty dangerous storms um, out there this evening. And, okay, just checking on some other things here. There continue to be some more signs of, of damage and tornadoes from earlier storms as well that we're watching. There's that severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible from Marion to Morrow County. That's going to go until 8 o'clock this evening for the potential seeing damaging winds and a non-zero chance of a tornado. Anytime we have that tornado tag uh, possible or that tornado possible tag in a warning, that means that we need to still keep our guard up. Also, severe thunderstorm warning for Perry, Morgan County, also for Muskingum. Guernsey, Noble Counties, two separate supercells there capable of producing damage. Let's drop back down to far southern Ohio around Sardinia where we had a debris signature a little earlier. The velocity signature has broadened out just a little bit now, but that's about to cross 247 south of Fairfax and over towards May Hill. So you want to be in a safe place there if you're in Fairfax, Mallory's Town, May Hill, uh, and even close to Peebles. You're going to want to be in a safe place as that cell continues to look very impressive on radar. Uh, very uh, very clear-cut sign of an inflow notch there, and also even seeing some heavy rain and, and hail into Georgetown there down US 68. Uh, tornado warning for Hawking County. Mike, I say this one's now the strongest on the radar right now across the whole region, 
and based on that velocity signature there there could certainly be something down and this is in a the, the terrain out here is not good this is not something uh, that you want to you know to try to go out there and, and spot at all no no not in Hawking County I would absolutely not um, I would be yeah if you, you're in Hawking County at all um, except for the far northern portion of, of Hocking County, I would absolutely be in your safe spot, uh, especially if you're in the southern portion of Hocking County. That's where we're seeing that potential uh, for a tornado. Um, while it is still radar indicated technically, um, it's really hard to see in the area. It's very hilly. Um, State Route 56 comes to mind, so anywhere along State Route 56, uh, needs to be either underground or at the lowest level. I know a lot of the homes in the area don't necessarily have basements. I know there's a lot of mobile homes in the area. So if you know anybody that fits that category, um, they need to be, uh, call them up. I know cell service isn't good in the area, but sometimes a phone call will come through and data won't. So um, it can mean, or a text. A text is a good idea too. Sometimes that's the case. Phone call won't come through, but a text will. Uh, so not a, not an area to be chasing, not an area to be spotting. Um, even northern Vinton County, you might be seeing this uh, nasty storm to the north. Don't drive up into Hocking County and look at it. Uh, just stay there and out of the way. Um, but yeah, South Bloomingville, uh, it's pretty much on top of South Bloomingville. And I'm just going on the assumption that because it's so far from the radar, um, we're seeing the couplet just to the east, but it might be displaced. And what's actually happening on the ground might be along State Route 56 in South Bloomingville in Hocking County. So, uh, and then anywhere east of that, um, some some maps or some uh, signs may indicate Blackjack as a sign, Cedar Grove. Um, those are along 374 and 664. I know there's a lot of cabins along that route. So... Those are places that need to be in their safe spot. Um, also looking around, still not seeing a much of uh, at least tornadic concern out of Delaware County and Marysville. It looks like um, that's still radar indicated and there's they're probably gonna let that one expire, but then you have to consider the severe thunderstorm warning to its north in Marion and Morrow County. So that does include I-71 in Morrow County there um, as well. So looking at that, I can try to get a better look at that. That's another radar hole. And that's another reason why the tornado warning may have been issued is because it's right in between the Cleveland and Wilmington radars. And it's about 90 miles from each. So that's, it's neither radar is getting a good picture, but we're trying to piece it together by some data out of Cleveland, some data out of Wilmington, and even some with the uh, Columbus terminal Doppler out near Pataskala. Um, yeah, and then real quick, Mike, uh, the Weather Service in Charleston is going to go ahead and issue a considerable damage tag severe thunderstorm warning for Athens and Vinton counties until 745 to border that tornado warning. So they are not seeing the tornadic concern as much as we are, uh, but if you live in northern Vinton County or western Athens County, I would still treat this based on the way that this signature looks don't be surprised if this gets changed to a tornado warning at some point uh, because, Mike, this is going to potentially end up straddling the hawking Vinton County line. And while right. there may be some damaging wind, uh, maybe some damaging wind on the inflow coming into the storm to the south, we don't want to be too cautious and, and say that if you're in Vinton County, you're, you're tornado-free by any means. Uh, so right. there's obviously a pretty dangerous situation there as well. Uh, new severe thunderstorm warning for Delaware County, Ohio. That's not a surprise. Uh, but let me see if they went ahead and canceled... Um, okay, they canceled the tornado warning for Brown County. Okay, observe now tornado warning for Adams and Highland until 7:45, located near Belfast. So let's observe. go. Okay. Yep. So let's go back to the south and see if perhaps there is something on velocity or maybe another area that we can look at. And let's go to correlation. I'm not seeing it, um, unless you are. Maybe this was observed by somebody else. Uh, okay, tornado warning for Delaware and Union has been canceled. That, that That's a good sign. I, I kind of figured that would be the case. Yeah. Um, yeah, good news there. Yeah, so confirm. Well, I still see that inflow notch. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just looking at that too. The tor I still see that inflow notch. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I see that there a little bit too. And I don't see much on velocity though, but uh, nevertheless, we'll take it for no. what, what we have. 
and it, it, it might even be yeah, there there is the inflow notch but it could be transitioning into an outflow situation so that means straight line wind damage and that's still something to to consider um you know even though it may not have been a tornado it might be significant damage from straight line wind so um but but it was observed and that usually means it's a well it means that it's a trained spotter maybe law enforcement maybe emergency management somebody trained uh to know what these cloud formations are and uh or, or just confirm that there is a rotation near the surface so that would not be surprising if that was the case even though we can't really see it from radar although the radar coverage in the area is pretty good um and then as we head back into Hocking County, yeah, there's still a couplet there. It's not as strong, but then again, the radar coverage isn't as good there. So um, I can see why, uh, whether you, like you said, the weather service in Charleston decided to go with that significant wind damage, 70 mile an hour, uh, severe thunderstorm warning. Yeah, and um, speaking again, of, uh, and yeah, and then also the tornado warning for Washington County is gone. So that's another positive. Okay. We're starting to drop some of these. Uh, tornado warnings off the board but real quick back into dark county i know there's a big race going on tonight at eldora in rossburg you're seeing some very heavy rain and i am seeing some signs of strong winds particularly uh, down towards ansonia uh, we're watching that very closely as well um, also some power outage numbers there are upwards of 2900 people in clark county or customers i should say without power um, also, yeah, okay, that's good to hear. Um, some I think that's that, with Ohio Edison, I believe, in Clark County. I believe most of it is. Yep. So, so that's yeah. not good there. Um, so, we'll watch that area very closely. Obviously, there near Rossburg, there's an event going on at Eldora. Obviously, it's probably under a delay or canceled at this point. A Boeing Echo now moving through Marion and Delaware counties. This is a pretty dangerous looking storm, capable of producing damaging winds. Uh, there are severe thunderstorm warnings with tornado tags on some of these. Um, we've also got, I've heard that uh, tornado tone a couple times, so let me go look. New tornado warning now for Athens and Vinton County. It's going to replace the severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, debris showing up in southern Hawking County. Okay, let's go to southern Hawking County. TDS now showing up on ILN's radar in a new tornado watch now for eastern Ohio. So Belmont, Guernsey, Monroe, Muskingum, and Noble. Also Marshall, Ohio and Wetzel and Brook counties in West Virginia until 1 a.m. So we'll we'll get to that as soon as we can. But now we have a TDS in Southern Hocking County. So let's go over to correlation coefficient. Let's see if we can get that to pull up. There it is. I see it there. Just to the southwest of South Bloomingville. There is mm -hmm. a pretty good sign of debris. So now this is a confirmed tornado on the ground, and now a tornado warning has been issued for northern Vinton and western Athens County. So this is now a tornado on the ground. We need to be in a safe place, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And again, this is a confirmed tornado. So this is not something that, you know, oh, it's, you know, it, they, we have these tornado possibles all the time. It says it's capable. No, this is the real deal. It's on the ground now south of South Bloomingville, moving east southeast. This will graze northern Vinton County before eventually moving into western Athens County at this time. So let's see if we got any further update here. Severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible tag from Monroe County, Ohio, and then Marshall and Wetzel counties in West Virginia until 8 o'clock. Severe thunderstorm warning from Mason County, West Virginia has been allowed to expire. Uh, so all, all kinds of all kinds of stuff going on right now again as the activity appears to have picked up a little bit uh, once again. So give you a quick regional view across the entire area. Uh, so we have three tornado warnings, and they're all now concentrated south of Interstate 70. Let's zoom into southeastern portions of Highland County, northeastern portions of Adams County. We have a confirmed tornado here as of last check near Belfast. This was observed, and there was some indications of possible debris here. And also this was, uh, okay, this was radar confirmed tornado with radar showing debris. If we go over to correlation coefficient, that may have dropped off now just a little bit. But again, these storms have a tendency of cycling today, so I don't want you to let your guard down being a safe place. But we do have a confirmed tornado that is easy to see on radar, is near South Bloomingville, velocity showing rotation, and then of course correlation coefficient showing us debris. And Mike, that debris field looks decent in size, even though we're looking a ways away from the radar site there. Uh, that's a decent looking, uh, that's a sizable debris field. That could be a sizable tornado on the ground right now as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. And again, this is a dangerous region to be observing storms. This is a dangerous re region, uh, just in general, to be, you know, because the roads aren't straight. And yeah, I, I can confirm what Nick is saying. It looks like there may be some loft of debris in the air. This could be uh, damage to homes, businesses, and tree. A lot of tree uh, debris as well, considering the uh, the area is very forested. Um, so that is that is of a major concern there. So that's going to be right along. Uh, again, State Route 56 heading. Uh, if you're heading eastbound on 56 that seems to be where this area is going to follow so mount pleasant new plymouth those are under the gun and need to be uh seriously um in their safe spots right now again the area is it has poor cell service it has um uh, you know spotty tv service so a phone call or a text is not a bad idea if you know anyone there and uh, this does, and I just got a new update as well. So yeah, basically New Plymouth and Mount Pleasant, it's on top of you. State Route 93 there. Uh, and that does, uh, that does, this does include Nelsonville. So it's not in Nelsonville yet, but that's a, a notable town there in Northern Athens County uh, that is in this tornado warning and is in the path of this. So if you're in Nelsonville, you should be uh, in your safe spot, ready to go, or at least ready to get there. Uh, because this is a serious situation. Again, a tornado observed. So that means either law enforcement, emergency managers, or a trained spotter has confirmed to the National Weather Service that a tornado is on the ground. Um, and yeah. that is... Oh, and, go ahead. And yeah. We also have a new severe thunderstorm warning now to replace the tornado warning for Highland and Adams County, but it is tagged tornado possible, and it goes a long ways out. This goes all the way to the Jackson-Lawrence County line, but it does include southeastern Highland, most of Adams County, almost all of Pike County, and most of Scioto County. Winds to 60 miles per hour. Tornado possible tag. Take that seriously. Um, we continue to monitor that. Um, also, continue tornado warning now for Adams and Highland County that is no longer observed. That is just radar indicated. So now, the only observed tornado warning that we have on the ground here is near South Bloomingville and points to the east is where we now have this confirmed tornado. We go back over to velocity. Again, radar coverage, not great. Terrain and looking to see things, not great. Get indoors and stay in a safe place. Nelsonville, Mineral, uh, north of Crayola, through South Bloomingville. Logan, you're not quite looking at the rotating part of this thunderstorm, but you could get some hail and some high winds and some heavy rain on the north side. So I'd still be in a safe place. If you're coming out of Athens, if you're leaving, I know it's uh, the, I know it's summertime, but uh, the Ohio University campus is right there. Uh, if you're in that area and if you, if, you, if you want to get away from this, you know, move away. You have time. Get indoors. Find a more substantial shelter. But if you're heading north towards Columbus, or if you're coming out of Lancaster out on 33, just take a stop at the nearest exit and just wait. Let the storm cross 33 first through Nelsonville. You've got about a half hour to wait. Uh, we've already seen Mike a tornado cross I-75 today, uh, and we hope that nobody was injured in that. We don't want to see if, – if, if a tornado is going to cross US-33 down here, you're not going to see it. We don't want people driving in this area. That would be a really bad situation. You're not going to see it coming over the hills and the trees – and that that's just really bad and mike i'm even seeing now a donut hole in reflectivity just a little bit or a little bit of a drop off uh near cedar grove and south bloomingville uh just a yeah. little bit so so that's a concern too and there's even some hail on both sides of that uh, as noted there by the purplish colors and again you can see tornado warning observed uh, so we need to be in our safe places now don't be uh, confused here the tornado warning for athens and vinton county says radar indicated uh, so that may be a sign that they're not as confident that's going to move fully into those counties, but you still need to be on guard and be ready to go uh, just in the event that that tornado were to cross uh, into any one of those counties at this time. So that's one area of tornado warning activity that we have, um, touching base on severe thunderstorm warnings at this point in time. Uh, we do have severe thunderstorm warning continuing for southern Alglay, southern Mercer, most of Shelby, northern Miami, and the northern half of Dark County. Still a pretty strong storm here. Here, velocity showing some signs of strong wind gusts. Thankfully, not seeing much in the way of rotation here. The series already been hit hard enough today, uh, but still some strong winds crossing 127 out of Greenville. Yeah, Mike, hey, you got something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, not to interrupt, but go ahead and look at if on Wilmington's radar north of Delaware. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Let's look at velocity. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, yes. it looks okay. like there's a couplet there that yeah. popped up in the last couple scans. Not under a tornado warning, but this storm has a history of it, so yeah, I let's. Be yeah, I, I said let's go ahead and get into our safe places now. U.S. 23 and east, including the city of Delaware up to about Ashley. Good catch, Mike. I'm sure we're going to see something in a moment. Let me check right, from I'm Wilmington. I'm going to make a phone call real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. So what Mike just pointed out to us here, a new area of rotation now north of Delaware. Uh, it's going to be along U.S. 23 north of the U.S. 36 exit. And, okay, let's see what that was an update on. Uh, continue severe thunderstorm warning for Washington Pleasant's entire till 745. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning tag tornado possible continues from Monroe, Muskingum, Guernsey, Noble till 8 o'clock. Um, we're also seeing reports of some strong winds there. Uh, large tree limbs down three miles northeast of Springfield. Possible tornado indicated there. Now the couplet from north of Delaware works a, looks a bit weaker on the newest scan, uh, but I'd still be in a safe place now. Delaware and points north and east. Marion, Mount Gilead, Cardington. Severe thunderstorm warning continues for you as well. Tag tornado possible for another 26 minutes here until 8 o'clock. So that's the current situation there. Severe thunderstorm warning continues for portions of Muskingum, Guernsey, and Noble County tornado possible here. So that's going to be crossing Ohio Route 146 towards Pleasant City. We'll see a new warning probably shortly for Guernsey and uh, more portions of, uh, of uh, Noble County here in just the next few minutes. Also, another storm crossing out of Perry and Morgan County into southern Muskingum County around Zanesville. Uh, we're watching that cell very closely. Uh, we'll continue to watch some uh, updates with that as that continues to roll on. Also, new severe thunderstorm warnings in these really impressive here. There's Washington County. And that's exiting uh, Washington County, but also appearing to Monroe County, straddling the Ohio River near Sardis and Hannibal. We're seeing a pretty significant looking storm there. Also Marshall and Wetzel County, severe thunderstorm warning here. Tag tornado possible because of that hook on the radar there north of Pine Grove near West Virginia Route 7. So that will head northeast and will eventually be out of our air probably within the next hour, I would venture to say. So Still a lot a lot of activity going on, and again, we appreciate you sticking with us through it all. I'm forecast Nick Dunn alongside meteorologist Mike Joyce. New report now, Troy Road and Delray Road in Lawrenceville, Clark County, an 18-inch tree fell on a house. No reports of injuries or fatalities at this time. That's only because it was not reported on that initial report. Uh, so that's the latest report there out of Clark County. Again, there have been reports of tornadoes in that area tonight. So, and obviously, there have been reports of damage as well. Let's get you back into Hawking County. As of last check, it's still observed at this time. Tornado warning continues for Hawking County. Right now, it appears that the tornado may have drifted a little further to the south and may now be on the Hawking Vinton County line here for another 25 minutes until 8 o'clock. Uh, so that will continue. That also goes all the way over to Nelsonville, Mineral, and Lovrig as well. That's really the, been my main concern is US 33 down the line. But right now in, in the immediate term, we're talking um, Ohio Route 93. We're talking Mount Pleasant, New Plymouth, Star, Silverly, Stella, Islesboro, Union Furnace. Those are the kind of the areas of concern that I have at this particular point in time. Uh, let's go back over to correlation coefficient. Not seeing as strong of a sign of debris. That's some good news, and this storm appears to have... So earlier when we were looking at this, we had a good inflow notch here, but now we're starting to see a bow kind of develop on the south, east, southwestern or southern flank of this. So with that said, hopefully that's a sign that this storm is weakening a little bit. Um, we have a new tornado warning for Delaware County now until late 15. Yep. Um, so Mike was calling that out. That couplet then weakened, and now they've went ahead and issued a tornado warning for the city of Delaware and uh, north of Berkshire. So we need to be in a safe place there now uh, as we're yeah. moving into, into that area. Mike, go ahead. Well, yeah, and the reason why I, I took a pause there is because my mom is sitting at the rest stop there at uh, the just north of Polaris. So I think that's at mile 124. It is. And she was concerned about the clouds. And lo and behold, now we have a tornado warning. So I, I basically told her to stay put for a while. And yeah, I mean, if you know anyone that's traveling north on 71 out of Columbus right now, I'd tell them to pull over because this is going to be not only a straight line wind threat, but uh, maybe even a little bit of hail, too. Um, and now, like you said, there's that tornado warning, and I'm, I'm not surprised because, um, yeah, we had that couplet that appeared in a couple scans, and it's kind of, this is bad radar area, so it, it, it's hard to make a determination sometimes, but I believe it, the Weather Service believes it, yeah, and I'm even looking at the Columbus Terminal Doppler out in uh, Pataskala, and yeah, 
right over the city of Delaware, moving east on Route 36. Hey, Mike, re real sure. quick now. Observed a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over the Hocking Hills State Park in Hocking County. Uh, so that would be a particularly dangerous situation. So let's hop back. And okay. again, so again, here's the text here. See this right here? This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. That tornado wind goes for another 22 minutes, oh and gosh. I'm not seeing a whole lot on velocity or the correlation coefficient. However, this was confirmed by radar that there was tornado mm -hmm. debris in the air, uh, so we now have a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado in southern Hocking County, and I'm really surprised that we do not have the same wording from the Weather Service in Charleston for Vinton and Athens County. So. What I'm going to tell you on this right now is this is what I would do. If you're in western Athens County, Nelsonville, now now that we have this wording, um, our tone's going to change a little bit. You have to get below ground. Mm -hmm. when, there is, when there is that wording, and this is a PDS tornado warning for southern Hawking County, you've got to get below ground. Put as many walls between you and the outside. If you're not below ground, your chances of survival begin to decrease. So when yeah. you have that PDS warning... You've got to get below ground. Hocking Hill State Park, that's a very populous area, a very popular area. Uh, so this is a very dangerous situation right now, and I am very concerned for those of you that are in southern Hocking County um, at this point in time. So, again, large, extremely dangerous 20 to confirm by radar. Um, that, Mike, I don't. I, this, this has been a while since we've seen that wording uh, yeah, from the National Weather Service. I'll tell you what, you know, and I don't, I don't take this lightly. Like you said, it sends chill down, chills down my spine. It just did. You don't like to see that, especially, it's, well, anywhere. You, to be, to be frank, you don't want it anywhere. But it, it's hard to see down in Hocking County, and there's so many cabins and vacation homes and and homes and 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 mobile homes in the area. So it is very concerning, especially when you hear the, the the term "large and extremely dangerous tornado." um in, in the area and yeah nelsonville you need to be underground now even athens you're not in the tornado warning in athens um i know it's summer for ou um but there's there's folks on campus still in the summer not in the warning yet but this it, it's close enough that we need to be really really watching this when you hear those words uh it is a serious situation um and yeah i mean especially since these storms have had such a history of producing damage. I mean, we had back in Tip City, we had the Meyer distribution facility that has sustained heavy damage. Um, we have confirmed tornado video all the way from uh, Dark County all the way into Clark County. And the, the, while these aren't the same storms, it's the same environment. That environment shifts throughout the state as we move through the evening. And it's very volatile. And there's even another strong thunderstorm, this severe thunderstorm just behind this in Chillicothe. Mm -hmm. Now, this storm may be cutting the Chillicothe storm's energy off of it, which is good for Ross County, but there's no obstruction in Hocking County. So, okay. again. Yeah, real yeah, quick. And, and, Mike, now this is crossed into Vinton County enough to where um, I know that Charleston does not have this wording, but if you are now in New Plymouth, north of Creola, through Mount Pleasant and Silverly, you got to get below ground. I'm going to treat this as a PDS yeah. only because of the warning that we have from Wilmington. So sometimes when we have conflicting information from the Weather Service offices like this, we've got to go with the most aggressive wording, and that's going to be a particularly dangerous situation tornado warning now is what I'm going to call it for portions of Vinton and Athens County. You've got to be below ground when you hear that type of language. Uh, we have a new tornado warning now for Noble and Guernsey and Muskingum counties as well. So we're going to have to get to that one in just a minute. Uh, but again, right now, biggest concern, PDS, particularly dangerous situation tornado warning. And I think we're getting new tornado warnings again, even more. Um, okay, that's just another update there confirming the Guernsey, Muskingum, Noble County. Um, but let me see if RLX has changed their tone a little bit. Um, no, they continue only radar indicated. They don't, they're not even saying this is confirmed. Folks, I'm sure we're showing you right now. This is confirmed near Mount Pleasant along Ohio Route 56 heading towards New Plymouth. You have to get below ground immediately. There's your radar rotation. Now, Mike, I think this is rain-wrapped now. Based yeah. on what I'm seeing, this is not something that you can see, period. It nope. may have been at the beginning of the storm, but now the storm has changed shape and structure where you're not going to see it now. So uh, there's your updated tornado warning polygons again. Um, and now they have just dropped the PDS wording out of Hawking County literally just now. So 
perhaps that's a good sign, but still that velocity signature is strong enough, given the history of what we just had, that you need to be below ground. Put as many yeah. walls between you and the outside. If you're in a mobile home, please find a more substantial shelter to increase your risk of being safe and surviving a tornado. Now, Eastern Ohio, new tornado warning here, and this is for, wow, this has got some very strong inflow south of Cambridge, seeing some inflow upwards of 90 miles per hour near Bell Valley and Ava south of Cumberland. Uh, so this is a really dangerous situation here now. This is radar indicated. This will be heading towards Seneca Lake in northern portions of uh, Noble County here in just a little bit. This is crossing I-77. And, Mike, I see another area of rotation over Cambridge and just to the north of there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get another tornado warning there within the next few minutes. Severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire from Morgan and Perry. 18-foot um, tree. That's, I thought that was 18-inch. Okay. Uh, not sure what happened. Okay, so they're saying an 18-foot tall tree fell on a house near Springfield. No reports of damage. Sorry, no right. reports of fatalities or anything just yet, but nothing was given when that was indicated. So we'll watch that very closely. Um, tornado warning continues for Delaware County. And, Mike, based on the way that polygon they project, that may have run down towards Sunbury and Condit yeah. in the next few minutes. Looking at velocity here, this appears to have broadened out a little bit again, and that would be some good news. But, again, this storm has been cycling back and forth for the last last couple of hours really right and yeah and, and so the, but the you're right it, it has broadened out a little bit and that's good news um but one area that i would be looking out for this yeah near sunbury and right there at the outlet mall exit 131 uh, along i-71 so that's going to be a dangerous spot right now again if there is a tornado it's probably crossing 71 right now and very close to that 3637 interchange at exit 131. Um, it looks like we have a new severe thunderstorm warning on that as well. Um, or at least uh, maybe here. an update to it for that. Um, oh yeah, it's just an update. Um, they've increased the storm speed, but other than that, it's not okay. um, nothing due. Although the latest radar scan out of the uh, Columbus Terminal does show that it's tightened up again. Uh, okay. Right there, just north. Oh, uh, yeah. I see that. 30, 36, 37 there at exit 131. So Yeah, that's yeah. north of Alum Creek Lake right there. Um, yep. And Alum Creek right Beach right there. The Alum Creek, yeah. Yep, so that's a concern there. Obviously, it's, it's crossing 71, so we don't want you traveling. Uh, Being a safe place there right now as well. Do not go outside and, and, to, and uh, try to risk anything. Um, and Mike, I'm even seeing, if you look at the thermal Doppler from Columbus down into Vinton County, you can even see that, you, granted, it's not the greatest data, but you can clearly see the strong wind in northern Vinton County and southeastern Hawking mm -hmm. County from the thermal Doppler in Columbus. So that's very impressive, uh, to say the least. Severe thunderstorm warning, tornado tag now for Adams, Pike, and Scioto. That is new. Um, also, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for Mason and Jackson County, West Virginia. That's for large hail. Uh, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on that. We also still have an existing warning for Claremont and Brown County, but that one is looking a little weaker. Severe mm -hmm. thunderstorm warning for Ross and southwestern uh, portions of Hawking County. That looks to be a Boeing structure coming right into downtown Chillicothe. Very strong wind potential here, upwards of 60 to 65 miles per hour. Still seeing rotation here near New Plymouth. Now, again, this storm previously had a tornado on the ground, and it was worded as a large and extremely dangerous tornado. Now, the latest information is that perhaps that has lifted, but a new tornado could develop at any time. So if right. you live along the Hawking, Athens, Vinton County line, you need to still be underground in a safe place. That includes Mineral. That includes Nelsonville and Athens. This is coming right towards you. You need yeah. to be ready to go in a safe place, and, and Mike Athens is the county seat. It's pretty populated. I know, obviously, it's summertime, and maybe and we'll have to hope that maybe there's not um, a ton of students on campus there at Ohio University, but uh, we can never be too sure about what's going on there, so those folks need to be uh, in a safe place. Let's go back over to the east real quick. Wow, very large hail indication now. Golf ball size hail added to the tornado warning for portions of Guernsey, Muskingum, and Monroe County, so that's a I think that might be the first time we've seen that signature today, Mike, with golf ball size hail added uh, to a yeah. tornado. So multi-hazard type storm there now crossing I-77. Potential for accumulating hail with a very wide hail core that will cross near Ava, Rochester as well. Uh, we're continuing to monitor this very closely. 
Um, also up to the north, I'm still seeing some signs of rotation on the back side coming through Cambridge down to Byesville and maybe as far north as the community of Center. Um, also a new severe thunderstorm right now from Marshall and Wetzel County. Good to know. Uh, but obviously right now there's another concern there for the tornado warning in uh, portions of Guernsey and Monroe County, which is actually probably more visible um, potentially from the Wilmington radar, unfortunately. This is a really tough radar zone, uh, really, Mike, for all three tornado warnings that we will, all four tornado warnings that we have right now. Uh, there's just not great radar coverage. And now there's a new severe thunderstorm warning from Morrow and Knox County. That's for the continuation of a line segment that's crossing Delaware County. And, Mike, I'm still seeing at least some rotation in Delaware County, but it's certainly, yeah. I, I think, straight line wind would be the primary threat there. Yeah, I would think so. It looks like the, the wind threat has passed I-71 now, but the rain has not. So, um, and maybe even some small hail as well. Um, yeah, but if there is going to be any rotation that I'm concerning, it's right over Berkshire Township there. So that's going to be like those truck stops there at 71, um, just north of Sunbury. So Sunbury um, has State Route uh, 61 there that runs from Sunbury up to Mount Gilead. So uh, 61, uh, anything that branches off of 61 between Sunbury and Mount Gilead, I would be uh, in your safe spot right now. Um, however, Alum Creek, things are looking a little bit better. I know we do have a lot of boaters and, and fishermen and all that stuff that are out there this time of year. So uh, hopefully everyone got off the water in time. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a dangerous situation. Um, but, yeah, it, it's transitioning pretty much into a primary straight line wind threat but again that tornado warning uh for sunbury and that portion of delaware county for another 25 minutes or so uh but yeah uh, looking at heading back down into nelsonville and athens it'll be interesting to see if the weather service in charleston decides to uh extend that tornado warning into the, the city of athens um just because of its history and with that uh previous tag of large and extremely dangerous um, you know, it's something to be concerned, but the, the Charleston radar is so far, it's hard to hard to get a look on it. Um, although one comment I do want to make on the Cambridge and Guernsey County storm, um, one thing I noticed is it looks like north of the tornado warning, so just outside of Cambridge, in fact, it even could be in Cambridge, uh, it looks like a very, uh, like a pocket of straight line wind that could be very damaging as well um, near Cambridge and then points north of I-70 and east of I-77. So Guernsey County, multiple hazards and in multiple locations. So I would say the whole county is experiencing severe weather right now um, as well. So that's kind of what I see at the moment. I'm kind of Yeah, scanning. and Mike, we got a, a very large now severe thunderstorm warning issued for the following counties. Belmont, Guernsey, Harrison, Monroe, Noble, and Tuscarawas. Tag tornado possible for this same line segment coming through Cambridge down to Caldwell, which again, now the southern end of this has a tornado warning on it. So that means that tornadoes are certainly possible and you need to be in a safe place and be ready to go in the event that a tornado warning is issued uh, for your location. So we're going to have to continue to monitor this very closely. Again, all of the warnings are scrolling at the bottom of your screen for you. I hope that that's, you have found that very helpful. Um, that's something that uh, one of our forecasters was very gracious enough to build for us. So we don't have to, you know, this we don't have to manually update it for you. It's all at the bottom there for you. Again, I'm forecaster Nick Dunn alongside meteorologist Mike Joyce. We've been on the air now for over two hours at this point, continuing to track tornadoes, uh, severe thunderstorms. We've had numerous, multiple tornadoes on the ground today. Uh, surveys will have to determine the final number, but we, we warned you that this was possible today. And we also warned you that an isolated significant tornado was possible today. And I think we're likely going to end up finding that uh, once all the surveys are all said and done. So yeah. we got we got lots of time to figure some of that stuff out. But obviously, uh, let's kind of get you a quick recap. So we do have four active tornado warnings, two of which are for the same storm. Uh, but working through Delaware County, still a tornado warning for Berkshire, Sunbury, and Condit crossing 71 and also US 36 down to Ohio Route 37 that comes up to almost Johnstown. Uh, that tornado warning goes for another 23 minutes. So that go until 8.15 this evening. Severe thunderstorm warning from Morrow County and Knox County goes until it's going to be uh, 8.45. Um, new severe thunderstorm warning now for Delaware and Licking County. And I'm going to assume that that is tagged tornado possible. It is. 
Um, also, new tornado warning now from Marshall County and Wetzel County, West Virginia. That's right on the edge of our coverage area. So we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, tornado tag for Delaware. And, um, okay, and now another new tornado warning for the city of Athens. It includes most of Athens County now, a new tornado warning. Uh, so we're going to get multiple updates to these polygons here in just a moment. Um, so this is a pretty dangerous situation. Let's go over to Marshall and Wetzel County real quick. This is a pretty nice looking supercell right where West Virginia and Pennsylvania come together there. Uh, very close to the Ohio State line obviously as well. Uh, but we do have, oh, that is a very strong velocity signature. That's about yeah. matches what we saw in Clark County a little earlier today there near Littleton towards Georgetown and Belton. This will cross out of our coverage area in about five to ten minutes. But if you live in these areas, you need to be in a safe place. That's Marshall and Wetzel counties in West Virginia, right in the far eastern flank of our coverage area. There is a tornado warning, and based on radar signature, I would venture to say there could be a tornado on the ground. That is a very yeah. strong couplet. Uh, they're just to the west of 100, near US 250, south of Cameron. We need to be in a safe place there. Tornado warning also continues for Guernsey and Noble in southeastern Muskingum counties with golf ball size hail. Mike, I think that line segment is probably the most impressive to me. There's a tornado and golf ball size hail on the southern flank and damaging winds on the northern flank. And it, that's just a really impressive line segment um, altogether yeah. there. And then again, we have a new tornado warning for the city of Athens. Uh, this is what they storm that has a history of producing a tornado. So, Mike, this is. Uh, now, you, you, you mentioned the city of Athens a little bit ago. It was time to start getting serious, and, well, now now it's here. They need These folks need to be getting in a safe place. Obviously, terrain still not great. I would not be wanting to go outside watching the storm arrive right now. Not at all. No, not at all. And, you know, it's also uh, a, a, basically a region of the state that you're almost flying blind when it comes to radar coverage. Absolutely. Although we are getting a pretty significant signature from the Columbus a uh, terminal Doppler that still does reach out that far. Thankfully, it's it's located east of Columbus, so it kind of gives our eastern communities a better look. But look at look at the broad rotation uh, north of McConnellsville uh, there as well, and just to the uh, east of New Lexington, south of Zanesville. There's some broad rotation there that the radar yeah. is picking up. But but yeah, again, Athens is a good focus. I'm gonna try to get a camera. Yeah, and Mike, that terminal okay, Doppler yeah. now is, is showing yeah. some very strong winds in western Athens County now. Um, so there's your terminal Doppler signature. I it, It's very muddy being that we're right on the edge of the radar beam. Um, but again, we can't be too safe. There could be a new tornado developing here and it would be rain wrapped. You need to be in a safe place right now, Mineral and Lurig, and then eventually the Plains. Athens over to Stewart does not quite include Coolville just yet. But again, it likely will at some point. Tyler Phillips and Chillicothe reporting hail at this point in time, along with very gusty winds coming through Ross County, and I believe every bit of that. There's your velocity signature from Wilmington looking to Athens County. Very strong winds there coming through Mineral at this point in time, and we continue to hear that sound in the background that's telling us that there's some updates on uh, tornadoes. So let me see what I can do on that. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Wetzel County, tag tornado possible. Continues severe thunderstorm warning for Pike and Scioto. That has been dropped off of the tornado possible. Tornado warning for Delaware and Hawking County has been allowed to expire. Severe thunderstorm warning for Adams and Delaware County has been allowed to expire. Uh, so several warnings are dropping off the screen, but we still have several that are on the board this evening. So still a lot to talk about. Let's kind of get you a quick recap. I will say this storm north of Charleston, West Virginia, Big time supercell there along I-77. That's just on the southern flank of our coverage area for Jackson and portions of Roan County in West Virginia. This one uh, tatted for quarter size sail winds to 60 miles per hour continues until 815. Working back to the west, severe thunderstorm warning for Pike and Scioto and Adams County. Gusty winds here, tag 20 to possible. That will go for another 18 minutes as well to late 15. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Hawking and most of Ross County. Again, Tyler Phillips reporting hail and very strong winds with this one. That goes until late 15. Um, working back to the north, severe thunderstorm warning for Licking County and Delaware County until 8. I'm sorry, that's going to go until 9 o'clock. That's a very long duration warning. Tag 20 to possible there. Knox and Morrow County, severe thunderstorm warning here. Uh, that will go until 8.30, sorry, 8.45 this evening. So that's kind of the recap on the western half. Um, now let's get you up to date on the tornado warnings. Again, the one that's exiting our coverage area, Marshall and Wetzel County, supercell here, kind of uh, tilted. It's it's not your normal 
um, horizontal looking supercell. This is kind of angled and tilted a little bit, but nevertheless, there is a strong rotation signature. It has weakened a little bit now, but that's going through Georgetown, West Virginia, down to Littleton, and within the next couple of scans, that'll be outside of our coverage area, but nevertheless, uh, just to get you up to date on that one. Back to the west, still an intense looking line segment capable of producing quarter to, I would still say up to half dollar, maybe even golf ball size hail for Guernsey, Noble, Monroe, Belmont, Tuscarawas, and Harrison counties. Uh, again, as Mike said, multi-hazard storm. Uh, and really on across all of Guernsey County, really just under the gun right now with the worst of the weather there. And then obviously we still have two other tornado warnings, uh, both of which have a history of producing tornadoes over the Hocking Hills State Park. Um, I'm waiting to hear any kind of damage reports um, out of that area. Thankfully, none yet, and I hope it stays that way. But obviously, it's a very densely populated area with cabins and trees, so we can only hope for the best there on that one. Uh, looking from the Charleston radar back into Athens County, Mike, you can clearly see the rotation now. Uh, Lubrig and Minerval. So right. if, you, if you switch over, sorry, Lubrig and Minerval. If you switch over to Charleston, uh, you should be able to see that pretty clearly there. So rain raft yep. rotation. Wow. Rain wrapped rotation. Uh, if there's a tornado on the ground there, it is rain wrapped. Don't take a chance. Do not take a chance. Get indoors now. Athens, get below ground. Put as many walls between you and the outside. Over to Stewart, New England, Guysville, Chauncey, the Plains. All of you should be in a safe place at this point. Fairway Oaks, Cannonville, Big Run, Utley, Lathrop, Carsey Town, Hull, and Longview Heights. And then obviously any of the other suburbs that are around Athens, you all need to be in a safe place at this point in time. So, uh, Mike, we've been on the air now a little over two hours, and it's been a destructive two hours for sure. It sure has, and I am currently monitoring the Ohio University webcam. Um, it's, it's on YouTube uh, if you ever want to check it out. Um, and I'm seeing lightning. No rain on campus yet. The leaves are very still, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm rolling on it. I'm also looking at US 33 at State Street down in Athens County. So that's an ODOT cam. I'm using the Irides network there to get that. And um, I'm also taking a look at some of the uh, uh, Columbus and uh, Parkersburg um, media as well, just trying to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Because in this situation, like you said, you know, we're, we're scanning uh, from the Charleston radar, which if I can get a, uh, a measurement on that, um, the Charleston radar is... 72 miles as the crow flies from uh, from Athens. So that means it's scanning the atmosphere at probably about six to 7,000 feet. So what we're seeing may not be happening at the ground, but the rotation, the tighter rotation may be occurring closer to the city than what we're seeing here on our radar. So that um, does include the planes there, that does include Chansey and, um, you know, anywhere along uh, US 50 there in in uh, Athens County. So that following the Hocking River down into basically the Ohio River at this point. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I'm, I'm that's it. That, sorry. I just saw a tornado, but that was back in Tip City. So that's not a current photo. I was just, um, okay. So it looks like ODOT switched their camera. So now we have a, a I have a broad view of uh, OU's campus. Wow. Those cumulonimbus towers are very impressive. Actually, um, I am going to Nick, if you if, if there isn't any way possible at all, you could take the camera. You have an O dot cam at thirty three and fifty. Yep, I can do that on the dot cam. Yeah, in Athens. Yeah, thirty three at State Road. Sorry, so they they've repositioned it to. Oh my gosh! Oh, they switched it again. Did they switch it back to north? I hope I th not, because there was, there was about to be a really good view. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at the top of the camera there. Okay, yeah, let me go and get That's, that uh, pulled in here. moving. Yeah, let me get, let's get that pulled in here. Okay. Um, wrong scene. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Yeah, you can see there's the edge of that storm now coming in on the uh, camera looking from US 33 and State Street. Uh, we should get yeah, okay. This will update yeah. every few seconds, so we'll pull this up every once and again so we can kind of see where it's at. But up in the upper right hand corner, right here, this is where you're starting to see the leading edge of that storm. You can actually see the clouds moving with each updated f uh, picture that's taken. These are taken every five to ten seconds, and it's it's yeah. moving pretty quick. So those of you in Athens County, you need to. And, and Mike, I look what look what we do see here: clear road, 
nobody's out. This is a, this yeah. is this is what we want to see. We don't want to mm-hmm. see anybody out. If you are out, you need to get in very soon uh, and just kind of stay indoors until this the storm passes. Uh, so that's yeah. kind of where things stand right now. Yeah, looks like a wall cloud to me there in Athens. There. Um, Hold on, I'm getting a call from Delaware County here. I might take that, and I'll be right back. Sure, no problem. Uh, so again, guys, if you're just now tuning in with us here on Forecast Rick Dunn alongside meteorologist Mike Joyce, uh, we are tracking a tornado warning right now for Athens County in particular. And again, there have been indications of what looks like a wall cloud moving in or at least a shelf cloud of some kind. Uh, Mike is currently taking a call uh, from somebody up in Delaware County where a tornado warning uh, was in progress there. And obviously, we have a lot of things we're continuing to monitor here this evening. So bear with me for just a second. Um, I know Ken McNatt from the Mid-Ohio Valley Weather Update is also live right now. If you happen to lose our coverage, you can always bounce over there um, as well. So give me just a couple of seconds. I do want to reshare our live video. Uh, we have lost at least a few of our viewers, and I do want to make sure that everybody's getting up to date uh, and getting the latest information possible. So again, right now, we have one tornado warning left on the board, folks. We're down to one, but it is a critical one for Athens County. The worst of this is coming right into downtown Athens right now as we speak. This is a very dangerous situation, not one to play around with. Again, now it's it does not show signs of a tornado on the ground at this present time. But I want you to be aware that uh, we may have to unfortunately see the storm continue to have tornado warnings issued on it um, over the next several minutes. Now let's go back to the ODOT camera. US 33 and State Street, there's a look at what could be a wall cloud or a shelf cloud. You can see up here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and now, unfortunately, we're starting to see a lot of people out and about again on the roads. This is not what we want to see. Uh, you can see lots of traffic. Again, there's an active tornado warning in this area right now. You don't want to be outside. This is not a storm that you want to mess with. Let's go back over to radar. And I want to show you now in downtown Athens, uh, there is a sign of large hail. And unfortunately, the radar, the velocity is, is not very good right now. Uh, but right here over downtown Athens, US 33, US 50, State Street, Ohio University, Elliottsville, uh, Plains Road, Dairy Lane, down through Richland Avenue, Lamar Heights. Dangerous storm right now, potential for a tornado on the ground. This had a tornado on the ground that was quoted as large and extremely dangerous backing Hawking County. This has crossed through portions of Vinton County has now moved into the city of Athens. This is a very dangerous situation. Uh, I would be treating this as a particularly dangerous situation if I were in Athens County, really almost anywhere in Athens County. So down towards Guysville, Stewart, and New England, you're next. And maybe eventually, if this holds together, this could cross into southwestern Washington County towards Marietta and maybe even Parkersburg, but more than likely closer to Belpre and Parkersburg than Marietta. But we'll watch on the eventual track of this but this is unfortunately what we call a radar dead zone. Uh, we are looking very far away from the Charleston radar. And if we flip over to Wilmington, the look is not much better. We're not getting any different of a vantage point there. Uh, but really right now the concern there is that we may have a tornado in progress through the city of Athens. We did have a, a velocity signature a few minutes ago. Again, it's very muddy. Let me see if I can get a better look um, from Wilmington. We, we can go on and on about radar dead zones, but um, Man, if, if there's if there's not a tornado, they're strong to damaging winds. So, and even though this is a radar indicated rotation, this is not confirmed. Let's go back to ODOT camera real quick. Um, let me see if I can get the latest scan there. There we yeah. go. Wow, look at that! You can see the rain shaft off in the distance, and now it is raining at this camera, so we may lose visibility. But that is moving quickly. Uh, just every every frame, it is moving in a, at a pretty decent clip. Uh, let me see if we can get a different vantage point looking into the storm. Um, here's another vantage point at 33 and, and uh, State Road 550. Windy conditions, folks are out driving on the roadways. Not what we want to see. Uh, and we just hope that everybody's okay out here. Uh, and we hope, we'll hope that that's the case. There's US 50 at Clover Lane. Not seeing much different there. Let's go down to Pleasant Hill in US 33. You can look off to the north there. This is actually come back to the west, excuse me. You see the very dark clouds off in the distance. Uh, so just continued indications of, of what we're watching there. So that's from the OGO traffic camera network. You can download that app on your phone and look at those cameras in real time 
24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and again, just to real quick get you an update on other warnings while we still have them. Severe thunderstorm warning tag 20 to possible for Guernsey, Noble, Belmont, Monroe, Tuscarawas, and Harrison counties for another seven minutes. Although I think they may have just reissued that. Let me see. Um, no, not yet. Um, also, severe thunderstorm warning for Delaware, Licking, and Knox County, although this appears to be primarily a Knox County problem. Severe thunderstorm warning for portions of Marshall and Wetzel counties in West Virginia until 815. Severe thunderstorm warning for Hocking and Ross County until 815. Severe thunderstorm warning for Pike and Scioto County until 815 as well. And we're still watching a thin line segment. Uh, producing some strong gusty winds crossing through Miami County and Champaign County, obviously an area that really doesn't need any additional thunderstorm activity today uh, based on what we've already seen out there tonight. But uh, this is the current situation we have. Still very busy, but let's get you back into Athens County. And Mike, unfortunately, in radars, okay, now we have a better radar scan. It's still showing at least broad rotation mm -hmm. over the city of Athens right now. And this is still a very dangerous storm and not one to, to take lightly. Folks still need to be in a safe place. Ohio University campus still needs to be sheltered if there's any students left on campus. Um, and obviously nobody should be driving still right now. It's very heavy rain and strong gusty winds continue uh, to push on through. Yeah, and I'm looking at both the Ohio University webcam. Um, so this is going to be kind of the portion of campus that intersects uh, with Court Street there um, uh, near uh, downtown Athens. So uh, looking very windy there, uh, pouring rain on campus at the moment. Uh, and then I also have that 33 and State Street ODOT camera showing the same thing you were talking about as well. So we know that it is at least severe thunderstorm um, event happening right now. It, like you said, that, that uh, rotation is looking a little more broad than it did, and that's good. But again, it's 70 miles away as the crow flies from the Charleston radar. And there's also it's also a very hilly region with a lot of winding roads. So, um, yeah, blinding rain along 33 right now. And then campus, yeah, getting knocked around by a lot of wind. But I see its power is on on both views. So I don't see any major power loss in Athens yet. But boy, I hope that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, just a lot of heavy rain on both cameras. Um, latest scan tightens the rotation a little, but not not much still i think it's worth you know keeping that tornado warning at least for the next 20 minutes or so just to make sure and we'll have to see um if they're either uh washington county again or portions of meg's county would get included in this as well uh but we'll just have to see if it holds together um something else to note though about this behind this storm there is a line of severe thunderstorms that you said uh, we had a report in Chillicothe of hail. We've got another line of storms right behind this. So Athens is not out of the woods uh, when this storm passes because then there's another potential for severe weather. And right now I'm looking at that US-33 camera and boy, it's blinding. And of course now I see cars, um, but that's just the, 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 the way it goes. But it, it's, it's gonna be tough going in Athens right now. Yeah, it is. And uh, real quick, Mike, I tell you what, I know that uh, Ken McNatt is also live for Athens County. Uh, maybe allow us a quick break, uh, just go get some water. And I'm going to let, um, I'm going to pull up his stream and I'm going to let um, Ken kind of walk us through things a little bit on the other stream here. So uh, I'm going to step away and get a drink of water real quick and perhaps you can as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and pull up that uh, scan and uh, we'll, let, we'll listen to Ken. All right, sounds good. So yep. yeah, that would include Little Hawking and Cutler and even Coolville still. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to give you the clear yet. This tornado warning continues for another 18 minutes. And that's what we're doing right now. We are over Athens County as we speak. Now, Belmont County continues to be under severe thunderstorm warning. Take, I'll take a look at that personally right now. Uh, most of the uh, threat for that appears to be in northeastern Noble County. If you're in northeastern Noble County right now, there's probably a very good light show going on for you right now. I'm going to stop this radar real quick. Now, please keep in mind that when there's tornado warnings, we try to keep our focus on the tornado warnings. I actually had to cut off a, another screen to make sure we can get this to you. 
my wish is that one day we can do both and do both well. But yeah, th this storm is starting to lose its shape. So we're now live on Ohio News and Weather as well. Thank you for listening and watching. For those of you watching over on Ohio News and Weather, thank you. Uh, this storm that's warned, tornado warned in Athens County appears to be losing its tornadic shape, although it's becoming a little more of a wind threat. Although it's still also trying to rotate. We, we can't dismiss that yet. It's starting to move to the east of Athens now. If you're in the Blennerhassett area, I would be watching this closely and considering taking shelter. What we got here. Getting more people sending stuff. Thank you. Yes, yeah. It does look like things are calming down in Athens, thankfully. And the storm continues to move to the east. And the tornado warning continues for another 15 minutes. We're going to see if there's an update in terms of language that the National Weather Service is using for this storm. So it's already passed through Athens. Yeah, so if they don't see any tornadic activity with this, they're going to let this warning expire. And if it does, we're going to have another update for the entire area. And then we're going to call it off for now. We'll see what they do with this here. I think that's going to be the key. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm forecasting Rick Dunn here live. I just wanted to take a couple of seconds um, to allow Ken to run some different things there. Um, and I see that we do have some updates as well from the National Weather Service. Um, let's see what they've done here. Okay, Athens and Vinton County tornado warning has now been allowed to expire at this point in time. So again, tornado warning has been allowed to expire now for portions of Athens and Vinton counties. Again, as Ken has been saying, that storm has been weakening over the last several minutes, and that will likely continue to be the trend as we're starting to lose some of that daytime heating. So we're continuing to monitor this very closely, but a line of severe, strong to severe storms stretching out from Logan down through Jackson, down into southeastern portions of Scioto County, will continue to carry that threat of damaging winds with us for the next several minutes, and we'll continue to see how that progresses. So off to the north, severe thunderstorm warnings do continue now for portions of Belmont, Monroe, Guernsey, and Noble County. Tag tornado possible here until 845, capable of producing, I mean, this could be this could become a tornado warning. Broad rotation here near Wigville down to Summerfield. And we're watching this very closely here just to the southeast of Senecaville Lake at this time, over towards Malaga, Bealesville, Armstrong's Mills, Jacobsburg, Barnesville, and Bethesda. We are continuing to watch this very closely. Again, you can see that supercell type, that supercell type structure here, at this point in time, and then also stretching off to the north there into northeastern portions of Guernsey County. Uh, looking at some updates here, 
Um, just looking at a couple different things here. Um, PBC, okay, 20 to possible, still continuing. Okay, and we still have an active severe thunderstorm warning for Knox County and Licking County, but really, uh, primarily, this is going to be more of a wind threat crossing through Mount Vernon that's crossing US 62, um, and that will continue to progress for the next several minutes here through uh, Mount Vernon towards Howard and Danville. Again, we'll continue to monitor things very closely, but again, at this time, the tornado warning for Athens and Vinton County has been allowed to expire. So, with that said, we are now tornado warning free. I'm going to take a few minutes to kind of gather some things, try to get some updates, try to get some videos posted. Um, if you have some pictures and videos that you want to send to us, please send them to us when you can do so safely. And we'll continue to monitor all these storms here for you through the rest of the evening. And we'll provide more updates here on Facebook in just a little while. For meteorologist Mike Joyce, I'm forecaster Nick Dunn. Thanks for watching us this evening. We'll be back in just a little while with an additional update.